last time on Raul Kalem, while the group was with, uh, resting with Ahencha and, uh, what was the other one? Selena, sorry, at the temple, uh, during their dreams, it would seem as if Theodore was shunted back into his, uh, and it was revealed that, uh, Tristina was the one. Justina Dartel, the Dreamwalker, was the one that was uh, forcing the uh, Theodore's God to remain in this sort of uh, changed state. Falsehoods and lies! So she couldn't keep that up, and so uh, Theodore's true God was unleashed, and upon awakening, uh, their powers have forged together in this new uh, set of forms, and the group has been battling the first set of that, and now uh, we're back with the second phase. Final form. Mwaha. Oh, jeez. So, yeah. Um, so continue. <clears throat> yes. So, uh... uh hmm? wonder if the initiative's still up last time. It doesn't look uh -oh. like it. Eh, just pull up another one. So, as I believe you, you all... literally removed it because we were out of combat for that part. Yeah, you thought we were. So, as you all had gathered around Theodore's seemingly unconscious body, um, discussing his fate and confiscating his possessions, um, I believe Fleetwood attempted to take his little black book but it did not work out so well, as as soon as he reached for it, a tentacle snapped up, wrapped around his wrist, and the rest of them began to come alive and wrap around and around his body, completely covering him and obscuring him as more and more of them rose up from the ground and eventually formed into the towering 30-foot-tall mass that is now Theodore, regent of the Nameless King. <laughs> oh, freaky. Yep, and um, I don't uh, pull up the art from last week or do it. I don't know. It's 30 feet tall. You can probably see it okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, guys. We've been Theodore's. So now we're going to be Theodore. And with that. We should probably roll for initiative. Yes, you probably <laughs> should. Is... Well, oh, no, it's back. back. Oh, it is back. Yeah, it's oh, back. Never mind. Yeah, it's back. Oh, it I don't remember what my initiative was originally. I think I was, uh, like, 17 or something. Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah. Like six. We can just no, pull it up on that, YouTube real quick. That, that was my last one. Uh, give me a second, I can always what look it up happening? on the roll 20. Oh, okay. Okay. Refresh. I, I have also, Gypsy, I have updated my picture of Fleetwood Mac. Uh, to get him a little closer to what I have in my brain as Buddy Holly. <laughs> uh, nice. Okay, it says I was 21. Alright, I shall click that. Are we re-rolling uh, initiative, what, or are we keeping our old one? What is... Uh, dumb question. What is a... Uh, what was uh, Saxus's initiative? Well, he's not going to be in this fight. Oh yeah, about that. Um, as uh, Fleetwood reaches for the book, uh, it also flies open along with the tentacles happening, and a dart that Nakamura would recognize flies out of... Hang on. Flies out of its pages and uh, strikes... Uh, the snake right in the head and it's uh, one of those mind spikes and it just totally incapacitates him and he's just safe and off to the side somewhere. <laughs> so, uh, Slate, like, could you re-roll your initiative? If some, some no, if only... List. No, yeah, if only he was a level, that's level what I was 10 trying. monk. He, wouldn't be, he would be immune. That's what I'm trying <laughs> to figure out. Are we re-rolling initiative or am I... Uh, I, need, here. I need to re-roll it, so uh, we might hold on. I can it. find I can find Fleet. I'm I'm re-rolling. Oh, no, uh, yeah, he's nine. 
In fact, it would be best if she, someone could. Yeah, uh, he right, was. Uh, oh, give me a second. Uh, you might have actually rolled better. And now. In niche. Wait, what, what? Yeah. There you go. <gasps> so pretty much the same. I can work with that. Wait, are we re rolling or. Yes. I was under the impression. So at this point. You took a break. The whole new thing. Okay. Eh. God fucking. That was first and then that one last. Uh, I keep forgetting where initiative is on this one. If you wait, hold on. First, hold on. You're it, last. It's on the top. It's on the top <laughs> right corner of the of the character. If he's an NPC. Oh, there it is. Hold on, so hold on. See that. <laughs> no way, I wouldn't wouldn't have done it. Damn it. I could try the could I could you, try uh, the I could try the roleplay <laughs> vigilant blessing to get give Solis advantage. <laughs> if we had, if I could do that. DM. Uh Oh yeah, I guess that makes sense. It's alright it's if I can't. He said it makes sense. Okay. Fleetwood will seeing Whoa, my thing just dropped it. What? Did the map just move? No. Okay. Seeing Theodore's grotesque appearance overtaking him Fleetwood <laughs> will will place a steady hand upon upon uh, Solus Solius like steady come ste or steady as she goes unintentionally casting Vigilant Blessing <laughs> okay so. hey Tom could you move the snake uh, hey, I don't the know thing. off to the side somewhere slightly better also, sadly, I can't give you guys... Could you also remove him from turn order? Yeah, that too. You just... Yeah. Honestly, I'd move him slightly off of the orange square. You can go ahead and reorder that. Descending. There we go. Sword! Excellent. Well, look at all of you being faster than me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's fine. He's busy forming. Although, also, you sadly, I he can't has, give any... He, he, it's a surprise round for him. Also, I uh, could say that. Is that how surprise works? It was no. pretty surprising. Actually, only people that have surprise get to act in the first round of combat, basically. Did I surprise well, we you guys? We kind of saw you Is forming. That so it, it more it more ha <laughs> it more happens like if people don't if people don't see you when you just suddenly attack. But yeah, we it's fine. I'll you. let you guys have a have a go. Hey, uh, starting us off, Nakamura, you're at the top of the list now. Uh, Kat, are you gonna start the music? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sweet battle Also, games. is this copyright free music? It's a better question. Uh, I think so, maybe. Probably. Okay. Uh, yeah, as, as he rises up from the tentacles and looms over everyone, he speaks. And now you see I... Cue dramatic music. Oh, it didn't I work. I could not understand that. Yeah, I could not understand a single word of that. Here, I'll do it. I'll do it. Oh, uh, fuck. Quiet, okay. but... No, yeah. I got it. Me first. <laughs> ha ha, I did it. Excellent. Remember to put it on repeat. No, I, no, it doesn't need to be on repeat. It, it does, because if it, no, it doesn't. stops, it will... Okay. Nope. Okie dokie. So, uh, yeah, go ahead. Alright. Uh, so... Wow. Wow, that's really something. It's an eldritch horror trick. I once read a book about the unspeakable horror of 
the ancient universe, but... Well... Yeah. Hope I can still save you after I cut you to pieces. And he's gonna make... He's gonna move as a reaction on his turn. 30 feet. Yep. You find it's more than just a trick. Oh, shit. Sure. That any better? I came in clear. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that was a little bit clear, yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm gonna come in. I'm going to take the attack action. You will be immediately interrupted. <laughs> because I am a fighter. Because you made an attack action. Sure. Uh, a roll reaction? a charisma saving throw. Okay, let's see what happens. Not great at these. What is that total? 15. I have a zero, so it's 15. Well then, you will find yourself... Uh, no wait, how is this flavored? Right, this is flavored like this. Okie dokie. <clears throat> so you move in to attack Theodore, um, looking up at this towering figure, and you hear Theodore's voice still bleeding through all of the massive tentacles and psychic horror. Just... You swore to protect me, Nagamora. Won't you keep your word? And you feel immediately compelled and are charmed by the nameless one. I uh, see. So, you will be charmed. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe you're right. So, I believe since it interrupted your action, you still have it, but you are now charmed. Also, it says a charmed creature can't attack the charmer or target the charmer with harmful abilities or magical effects. Yeah, you can do something else, though. <laughs> And I have advantage on any. Oh, and you had advantage on any ability check to interact socially with me. But um, it doesn't. It doesn't say m like mind control. It's just like well. Nope, just charmed. Uh, let me see here. No, it would not. Sad. Yeah, that might actually. You think? I think. Okay, what are some basic? What are the basic actions? So I guess I'm going to take the dodge action. Cool. And I'm going to interpose myself in between you guys. And I'm going back. Oh, hold on. Let's hear them out. Oh, hold on one. Let's not immediately go for, you know, it's clear he's mind controlled, but. Uh, yeah, basically, he's he's affected. everyone to stop attacking. Yeah, I mean, you can still totally like. Uh, you, you know, you don't have to attack anybody else or anything like that at any point, no matter what they do to Theodore, but you're charmed. Yep, yep. he's just trying to convince them. He's not trying to hurt anybody. And yeah. Since you've charmed him, there's no enemies here right now, as far yeah, as he's exactly. concerned. This is, <laughs> well, yeah, that this happened. Is just, we just need to have a conversation. There's no enemies here. Yep. Stock. Is that your turn? That's it. That's my turn. Yep. Alright, Fleetwood, it's on you. Okay. I'm trying to remember. I think I used up my... Uh... So I get legendary actions after every turn, every player's turn, right? I could just slip one in there? Yes. Yeah, as long as you uh, have... Essentially how legendary actions, actions work is they activate at the 
uh, end of a player's turn, and they recharge every every time your turn rolls around. Right. So, yeah, I think I'll go ahead and do that one uh, before you start, Fleetwood. Um, let's see which one of these. First enemy with legendary action. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> I warned you. Let's see. I'll actually target. Um, no, not not Fleetwood. I'll target Sally. So oh, you see the the singular yellow eye gleam amidst the testicles, and are suddenly uh, feel feel a cold chill through your body, uh, make a charisma saving throw. Oh boy. I know my audience. <laughs> um, you are suddenly overwhelmed with paranoia and uh, you must pick a target within 30 feet of you and you are certain that they are now uh, allied with Theodore, and you must attack them. Uh, so that's On me, the attack, four please. creatures. Yep. So I'll roll a d4. Just to make this fair. Uh, it'll go... Uh, I'll just do this. One, two, three, four. Okay. Show me the die. Four. That's an attacking monkey, man. Rip monkey Get man. Fuck monkey man. So wait, do I attack him now? Like move. Yep, you move, attack? you go, you do it. Oh! Oh, wait, hold on now. That's definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God, eleven. <laughs> no wait, I'm gonna... hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I think he's an enemy. So. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, I would fucking wreck It does just say make a melee attack. You don't get your full turn. She didn't say to take an attack action. She said make a melee attack. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, well, wait, then how would that... So wait, You I don't still... take your full turn, but you yeah. just do a melee attack. It's not taking up your turn. You still get your full turn when it rolls around. So when... Okay. And you'll so be back to normal. Just... <laughs> okay. So I guess I just try to swing and he just dodges out of the way. Congrats. Everyone, right. we have to stop fighting each other. Fleetwood. Okay. A lot of my tricks... Kind of worn down. Fleetwood. Ooh. Fleetwood is going to resort to dramatic matters. Drastic matters. Oh... Theo, you tell me that magic could be a crazy thing. So let's just see how crazy it can get. And he's going to pull out one of the vials that he got from the island. <laughs> he is going to chug down. Tom, I don't know if you have the thing for this. Uh, the gun gun blood vial. Uh... Save would this be Constitution saving throw? That's right, because you're trying to drink blood, essentially. Okay, I Barf. actually have a plus four to this, so come on, buddy. I believe in you. Twenty-two. Oh, Twenty-two, not bad. Nice. Incredible, even. Oh, hold on, I have to... not bad for Rambo. Some stuff down here, real quick, because I was not prepared for this. <laughs> <laughs> not properly, but it's gonna take me like. Oh, sorry. And I will. I don't know. No plan survives contact with the player character. <laughs> yeah, seriously, yes. dude. Oh no, Fleetwood, don't drink it. You're gonna not be able to swim. It's all right. I was never good at swimming. 
<laughs> oh no, wait, I got a plus seven to acrobatics. Never mind! <laughs> I don't know if this is permanent or not. Gun, gun, do it. Uh, this one and this one will be this one. Sorry about this. I'm just gonna. <laughs> Hopefully, my official is. notes here. Okay, roll a one d four. One d four, three. Uh, a minigun appears in your hands. <laughs> Congrats, <Yeah>! gun. <laughs> All right. And for uh, for the damage when you when it's to hit, it's going to be a three d six uh, a sixteen for damage. A three d six. I actually Constant. found a homebrew gun. I actually found oh. a homebrew gun with a 5d10. Hold on. Let, this is Tom, so let him explain. What did you say the yeah, dice was? Yeah, I know. Was? I was just saying. 3d6 plus 16. 3d6 plus oh, 16. Now, the question is, was drinking that potion a... What action was that? Uh, I'll consider drinking stuff bonus actions. Okay. Like a, like a healing potion. Is this uh, a spell? Is this gun a spell? This, this was this was the blood that we uh that we got from the island. The I know, but lab. is this it's a magically appearing gun? Is it is it a spell? It's magic, yeah. It's a magic effect, do, not a spell. Do I okay. vomit it? Do I vomit it up or do, do, we do, just do don't I, know. Do I birth now. the gun? <laughs> oh god. Oh! <laughs> Somewhere in the world, there's there is a Rush, Russian man screaming Sasha. All right. Oh, I'm trying to think of a one-liner for right oh, now. If friendship is magic, then I got a whole belt load of friendship. <laughs> Roll to attack. All right. Range attack. I'm guessing. I would hope. <laughs> Do I get my proficiency bonus with it? I mean, 16 is... Dexterity. Roll dexterity, okay. I have a plus one to dexterity. Eh. Like oh, everything man. else. Now, here, 18. Here would actually be the question. Yeah, that hits. Uh, sorry, for the... Woo! The, then let me do the... I actually the, wanted uh, to ask Tom really quick. Yeah. What? Because he drank this, would he conserve, be conserved proficient in it? Well, I was just thinking he's a fighter. Isn't he one level fighter? I yeah. am a first level fighter. After this battle sequence, I'll everything. tell you what the the initial D4 could have also landed you. All right. Here here it comes. 3D6 plus 16. Ugh. 22. Here comes the 19. Oh. I'm disappointed. Less than average, but you want to know what? That's still 22. Very good. All right, let's go. You see the the bullets batter into him, and they they do seem to uh, pierce in actually more so than when he was some sort of unhinged, splitting, uh, barely holding together person. Okay. Fleetwood, is that your full turn? Uh, I believe so. If the enemy is gonna go first, and then it's gonna go back to Solia, so Theodore, it's your layer action. Or legendary, uh, legendary action. action. Whichever, whichever it is. Actually, it would have been the layer action on, uh, on Nakamura's on, uh, Nakamura's turn. Because it, a layer yeah, action. Yeah, I don't have a layer. This is just a random pyramid. I don't live here. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Get some more Are you within 30 feet of me? Well, made the very unwise choice of being very close. <laughs> I rolled. Yes, you are. Well, there's literally no square that isn't 30 feet away from you. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Um. 
Yeah, you guys might want to get off the temple, actually. Um, let's is see. Some... Uh, <laughs> Sully, dexterity save. Bring up. I'm back. Uh, four. Well, it doesn't look Fuck very me. good. Yeah. Um, black tentacles sprout up from beneath you and wrap around your body tightly. And you are restrained. Fucking! Uh, strength saving throw at the end of your subsequent turns, I believe? Yeah. End Fucking of your turn. Christ, of course. <laughs> or, uh, if it takes damage, but I mean, I guess that's something you could guess at. <laughs> So, now. but hey, if it's a strength, you have fully restrained. It raging, at least. You are the condition restrained. Okay, so I guess it's my turn. Let's see what I can fucking do. Uh, I could just be can they pure attack and the benefit or... attack rolls again. Oh, what happened? Oh. It, the it's boss. because you didn't repeat it. Okay, well, I had a whole playlist. It, it doesn't matter. Uh, unless you press it to repeat, it doesn't loop the music. Eh. No, that was like a new song. It had gone through multiple songs. Yeah, it wasn't over yet. It, it went through done. all the it was restarts. On, like song three of six. There we go. So just press repeat. How do I want to get to the last song? No, will it? Uh, it it will just stay repeated if you just press repeat. Let's see. Anyway, uh, let's see. Uh, attack rolls on the creature has have advantage, and creatures attack rolls have disadvantage. Creature, creature has advantage. Has disadvantage from the same, so you can throw. So you're saying if I hit these tentacles, I'm free? Uh, at the end of your turn, you can make a strength saving throw, or if they take a certain amount of damage at any point, then you will be freed from them. Mm -hmm. Okay, fuck it up. I'm just gonna gonna rage, uh, and then I am going to, as an item interaction. Well, um, actually, first, uh, can I try to attack these tentacles? Is question. I don't know what restrain does exactly, but if restrain lets you attack things, then you can attack it, things. It does, but it's at disadvantage. They're around you, so they're in range. <laughs> He so just needs to make an attack or... so rage doesn't end. Yeah. I think it would uh, be a flat roll because you're raging, then that's how it would rule out because the disadvantage and then your rage would even it out. Oh, reckless. Rage doesn't reckless give me attack. advantage. You might as well reckless attack because attack rolls have advantage on you anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, so I'm just going to reckless attack so it just evens out, and I'm going to try to hit these tentacles with my maul. Unless you have something you can throw, try to throw at... Uh, I have javelins. Then why not throw a javelin at Theo? Uh, give me a second, because I'd have to... Or no, I wouldn't. I would just... He'd just be in my range, so that wouldn't mean disadvantage and advantage and disadvantage. It would just be advance or disadvantage and advantage. So... Just a flat roll because of reckless attack. Mm-hmm. So, uh... Well... Okay, first I'm gonna try throwing the javelin at the, uh... There you go. Oh, that is a soft 20. Oh, wait, will that hit. Oh. No, that is... Wait, yes. Yeah, that will hit. Uh, 10 Six. damage. Oh, 10. And because of that... Uh, I don't have another item interaction to grab to grab my uh, javelin, so I'll just put my second hand on my on my maul, and I will try to attack these tentacles. Now he hmm. might have cover. No, 16. you could probably attack this corner. He doesn't have cover. Uh, I feel like the tentacle should have a different AC than Theodore does. I feel like it should be 15. 
Yeah, that's I No, 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 no. I think it should be 16 maximum. Okay, 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 okay. I'm saying 15 because they they are squirming, so they would probably have like a 22 to dex. Yeah, I was thinking 16 because that's what the saving throw is. But sure. So sure. yeah, you hit. Beats it, beats anyway. So you would have fit anyway. Yeah. So there, okay, so let's see how much damage I do to these now. things. Uh, ten. 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 Consistency. You neatly slice it off at the base, and it just sort of melts into a pool of black ichor. Ichor. Yeah. Give me a second to also check I think something. I think but... it's ichor, but I'm not sure. It, it's pronounced either ichor or ichor. I think it's the first time I've ever heard of it, but no. Uh, anyway, yeah, you're free now. Yeah, I, hey, I'm just also checking move something because I think I have something that could possibly help. Oh, no, wait, I think that's Berserkers that only get, like, the bonus. No, wait, I could do this. Uh, so, give me a quick second. Let me check <laughs> something because Mentors have something. I could maybe do. If you got 40 movement. Oh you no, could wait, I rage. Way Never mind. Never him. mind. Never mind. I I fucking rage, so that wouldn't matter. I I'm actually going to uh do 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 do. I'm gonna stand there. And he just hears all these go. I'm sick of these tentacles! I'm sick of charging and at my allies, I'm sick of. At my allies telling me not to attack, and I'm sick of you! Now, in my turn. Whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, Tanya Silver. Fire. Not so fast. Oh, yes, yeah, back to the boss. <laughs> <laughs> it's still. You know, have, do you know that meme, that funny scene from Naked Gun where he's like, disperse, there's nothing to see here? Yeah. That's literally Nakamura right now. <laughs> He's like, everyone disperse. There's nothing to see here. So what the fuck are you going to do to me now, Cat? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, he has an intelligence of 20. He knows what he's doing. I know. And that tentacle that slid off of you and turned into ooze will then rise up into a new little creature. Ah, you're down here. It's all your senses and he goes... Fucking damn it! <laughs> Which I will drop into the Rock Island chat because my lovely friend once again did some lovely art for it. Oh. Look at that little guy! <laughs> yeah, no, uh, <laughs> creepy, but nice. Yeah. Also, uh, also for the video, this is not me out of, out of character being frustrated. Uh, I'm enjoying this. This is oh, just yeah. solid. Oh, yeah. I don't, You're a tank, I know. <laughs> I don't remember if I used my superiority die. You did not. What? You so... did not. We still have it. Yeah. Alright, uh, Silver, it's your turn. Cool. Yep, a horrible little creature just squirmed up out of a pool of ooze and is now staring at you with a dry and glowing yellow eye. Oh. Uh. Well, that uh... means it's out of legendary actions. It's about a person sized. Let's go with. We'll move in. Stab it. It's creepy. Gross looking. Yeah. Shit. Nope. It slithers away from your rapier. And I'm gonna use fancy footwork and slither away from him. Fair enough. Mm. I'll make an ooh noise. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. And that'll do her. Accurate. Ew, 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 ew. Nah, that's a little bit too sissy like, but just like, ew. <laughs> Boss, what you get? I got nothing, go ahead. Oh. Well, to start my turn as a bonus action, I'm going to summon my Nimbus Cloud so I can go. <laughs> Okay, Goku. Right at the edge. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> no, he is the monkey king. Case. That's what case. this character was literally inspired by, so... So he's, like, floating on a cloud? 
Yeah. Wait, wait, I just realized something. Where's my... where's the... To attack hey button? guys, I just realized something. We're, we're in Temple of a Monkey King, and Theo is on Team Purple. Oh no. <laughs> I think this. I think I got the thing for this correct at this point. Let's see if it did it. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh it's a plus two. Uh, uh, oh, it did not add the plus two. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, Rip. I'll just have to do it customarily because I put it on the thing. I put it on the to hit. What, so what is this deck it's... mod again? Uh, it should be plus three. I put that on the two on the two on the to hit thing. Okay, so that's a plus three plus. Okay, so yeah, that would add the plus two. Okay, so I did do it correctly. Uh, the, the bow staff would also add a plus two to its damage roll. Yes. So we're green monkeys, but are is Theo purple parrots or silver snakes? <laughs> Dude, I'm not right, concerned uh, about this right now. I just I'm I'm going full on Dark Souls right now. No, wait, Bloodborne, because I've got I've got the minigun. I'm going up against an Eldritch monster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's about right. And I got the gun by injecting myself with blood. Mm -hmm. True. Very true. Yeah. Because uh Tom plus weapons will right. use the add to the attack and damage. Let's see how it's rolling now. It looks correct. Right, only, so for the, only for the only for the staff though. Yeah, that hits. Better. There oh, there oh. Oops, just take the seven. I rolled that I clicked it nine. by accident. Dude, actually nine. Again, it's not Alrighty. adding the plus two to damage. One D eight plus three plus zero. Oh yeah, I see what you mean. Okie dokie. Uh, and then unarmored strike. Bone I think attention. this one's also should be broken then. Well, uh, it, it plus two to. So the punch should be fine because a plus two is only for the staff itself, not for the unarmed attack. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Hope that didn't do it. No. That didn't even roll its attack. That's weird. Oh, I didn't uh, did that you remember to press the, Did you remember <laughs> to press the check bar? If you want, you can uh, just give me access to to his character sheet, and I can fix it if you want. Oh, I can fix it. I got it. Don't you worry. Okay. Fix that. Which is quick. I'm not trying to meta game or anything. I'm just trying to help. You want to roll a roll a d20 about it? Let's see if this will fix it now. Yeah, is he gonna stun him strike? There. Miss! That's Wait, his why turn. does he have a plus five? Why does he have a plus five to his unarmed? Oh, stop. Now it's finally. Theodore's yeah, I'm, I'm an idiot, I just realized. Well, first of all, the little squirmy thing immediately I'll pursues. Back. I'll be back. Uh, Kurtanian. Is that again? The oh, squirmy thing immediately pursues you. Ah! No. Okay. Oh, it does. Oh, no. No. Yeah. Never mind. Hang on. Flunking. Yeah, just as soon as you tried to run, it was on your ass immediately. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit. And no, now. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Ignoring armor bonuses. So. I guess I'll just roll the d20 plus two. Yeah. This plus two. Nine? No, probably not. Yeah, it's like I'm still gonna miss. It tries to jump directly at your face like a face hugger. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I assume you do not let that happen. Ah, nice. no. <laughs> just like swat it down. <laughs> no means no. <laughs> That's my purse! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know you. I don't know you. So, uh, <laughs> that's what happened immediately when you tried to run. You know, Theodore. 
turn. Um, so yes. You will all see. And you all feel a pulse come out from him. It's like the sound of a heartbeat, and it makes your vision pulse as well, and your sensation pulse, and everything just pulses outward in this horrible feeling. And this is going to be a big one. So all of you are still within 30 feet. So DC 13 wisdom saving throw. Is this a fear effect? No, uh, it may, d- just do the saving throw. <laughs> okay, because I get advantage on those. Uh, it's, it's not strictly a, a fear effect, no. Oh, I was just got under it! Uh, hey! Oh. Nope. 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 I, get, I get to re-roll one. Oh, you do. Please disperse. That is also <laughs> no. Okay. You pass, Kertanian. Unless, unless you'll okay. let me take that, that one on the side there. Uh, yeah, sure, you can have the 16, so you pass, and Kurtanian passes, and... Gosh, Monkey yeah. Man? Halflings are so cool! Monkey. Shouldn't... Does Nakamura also roll? Nakamura did roll. Monkey. No, he didn't. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he did. Monkey! Yeah, that was me at the top. I oh. rolled a natural one. You see that? Okay. Everybody who got, um... <laughs> yeah, that's Yeah, bad. so... Monkey, Sully, and Nakamura, roll a, a d6. Okay. Two. Two for you. Four. Four for you, six, six. for you. Um, Alright, so Sully, you have disadvantage on attack rolls. For... Oh, of course I do. <laughs> Two rounds. <laughs> uh, Nakamura, four. You are currently poisoned, and if you touch another living being, that they will also be poisoned. Next okay. Nakamura, and that I'm... will be for three rounds. Quick Nakamura, and touch it. Ravik. Ooh, monkey. or not Ravik, monkey, monkey. Uh, you get to re-roll any attack rolls that you make, but the attacks against you are made with advantage. So you have advantage, okay. or you can re-roll, but you also are getting hit with advantage. For... Five rounds! Jesus! <laughs> wait, wait, what happens to him? He, he gets That's advantage. That's a lot of time. He, gets he can re-roll his all. attacks if he wants to, but everything that attacks him has advantage. Nice. So, uh, could all of you remember those things for me? Yeah, sure. I wrote Easy. the symbol to symbolize, like, I kind of have disadvantage. Cool. Oh, you can even put numbers on those to record how, how long the things do. Yeah, it's fun. Uh, but yeah, okay. So, poison... Uh, bad at attacking, good at attacking, but bad, good at also being attacked. Okay, so let me that. put a fist on there. Yeah. No, I, I was gonna say like the fist one would be <laughs> probably good for you. That was that. Um, cool. So that uh, was also Tom. If you press, if you press it uh, again, you and if you press the five key, the letter five or number five key, uh, yeah. There you go. And Theodore will slither over all of you. Very large. That's opportunity. <laughs> Doesn't really um, matter Whoa. if you're in his square or not. Yeah, sorry. Attack of opportunity. There we go. Not if he doesn't leave your threatened range. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just sort that of. Would only apply to. to- Oh. Mooshing over here. Richard, uh, I mean, it would apply to the Echo Knight, but oh, I can't. I, 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 I'm charmed still. Yeah, we're friends. Uh, I just want to move over to, to here so he was one space above me. No, my mouse is fucky. Um, so, yeah. Mm. Da, da, da. So he Take he that. sort of roils over there. Yeah, Monkey can do it. Too, right? Nope, nope, I'm he's still really in his a range. Ranged weapon. It doesn't threaten. Oh. Anybody here know the banishment spell? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. 
like you guys don't know any fucking spells. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that'll hit. That Dry bowstrap? Where the fuck did he what? get? It? Wait, why? Why did he get a plus thirteen? Yeah, that doesn't seem right. Wait a minute. Oh, did I input this wrong again? God damn it. <laughs> Bruh. What? Bruh. Why? <laughs> I don't understand. Where's this coming from? Do you want me to look at the sheet? Uh, You've got a 1d20 plus 1d20 plus 5 to hit. <laughs> you don't get 2d20s on your attack roll. I'm sorry. So, you got a 15 plus 5, I think. So that's... So 20. Uh, still hit. But, 22. Jesus. Or 20. I don't know. Uh, hey, uh, there. Where did the 13 come from? I don't understand. Tom, why don't you give me permission to edit the sheet? I, I can probably fix it. it. It's fine. I'll fix it. I, I got it. Okay. I think. Let me test roll. This will be Thank a test roll. Much not See doing anything to try so I could help. See, it's... No, that one didn't do it. Nope, that still got the mm. d20. Nope. You just uh, rolled a 4. Yeah, it, it still has the extra d20. Is that rolling in the brackets? Does this make any sense? Where's that? Delete the yeah. d20 from um, your roll. If you give me permission, I can he, see what's wrong. Okay, okay. Let me rewrite this. Okay. Don't write the d20 down. It already does that for you. So it the, to hit, I just add the plus then? Yeah. You just add like yeah, the plus. Proficiency, the plus ability seven. modifier, and then a plus two. Which for him, if he's a level five character, would be a plus three. So it's plus three, plus three, plus two. Which would be a plus right. eight. So just put plus eight. Should be a plus eight in total. That's yes, right. Plus eight in yes. total. And one minute. Alright, let's see what happens this time. There That's we good. go. There it is. All fixed up. Okay, sorry. Sorry, I wasn't everyone. trying to be... I, I was not trying to be rude, I was legit trying to help. We got it. Got there, we got there. Right now, so, Cora, you're still... Acting, quote, quote, oh, okay, acting so it's my again. turn, huh? No, it isn't. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, did you, I wasn't finished. Oh. I wasn't finished. Yeah, you just moved, that's right. Yep. Uh, but yeah, that- yeah, I did get hit. Why? The attack of opportunity. Oh, yeah, just the- just the one. From the monkey. Hit. Whack him. Roll that damage. I only get one attack. Oh, I see it. Oh, I see oh, it. Five. five damage. Yeah, I already took it. Okay. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, uh, anyway. What are you doing? Attack. I am hitting, uh, sorry, Sully. Does a 14 hit? 14 misses. Alrighty then. Massive tentacle slams down in your direction. Aren't, aren't you reckless right now? Oh yeah, true. So you get mm. an advantage on me. Oh dang. Okay, okay. Let's try that again. 18? 18 will hit. Cool. Uh, so, massive tentacle slams down upon thee, and it is so large that the rest of it will slam down towards um, Fleetwood. So, Fleetwood also gets this, but with me doing it at disadvantage. Seven probably doesn't hit. No, that's not right. that one. So, just Saliandris, you can make a save to avoid the poison damage. Constitution, I'm guessing? Um, yes. yes. It says DC, DC 14 con. So do I Come get on. any kind of additional saving throw from seeing you attack 21. all my friends? Um, do, do, do. I think it's on your turn, right? So that is four Sometimes damage. Sometimes with me. these charmed things, there's extra Whoops. triggers. Da da da! No, that's not it. Charisma saving throw. End of your next turn. So no. Okay. 
So that's that. And... Wait, you did something harmful to me, though, with the AoE thing, didn't you? It, it doesn't... It no. Charm doesn't like I'm that. poisoned. Yeah. It, it just sort of was oh. a crazy happenstance. Oh, well, it's fair fine, enough. I'll restart you know it. what? These weird things happen. Also, yep, yeah, yep. it interrupted right in the middle of that song again. Yeah, I don't know why it keeps stopping in the middle instead of just ending at the end. Anyway. Uh, so... Do, do, do. And, yeah, so you take the uh, bludgeoning damage, but not the poison damage. And then it's Nakamura's turn, but I'm going to be reacting to the fact that it's Nakamura's turn. It you have a like reaction that turns at the turn. start of a person's turn? Um... If you're talking about legendary actions, they activate at the end of a player's turn. No, it's, it's not a legendary action. action. It's a reaction. Uh. Do, do, do. And... Please yeah. disperse. There's nothing to see here. Now, Kamara, I need another charisma saving throw from you, but you get a free advantage. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> That's rough, buddy. <laughs> well, in that case... <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Um, so, Nakamura, you're trying to um, get everyone to stop freaking out and attacking Theodore and attacking each other, and something really weird just happened and now you don't feel so good? But as you glance back towards the massive tentacles that you're hoping to rescue as your friend, you can see from it emerging um, just, you know, Theodore reaching out towards you pleadingly as if he's being um, uh, basically set down by the tentacles. And, and they seem to fade away into the background as you just see him now being assailed on basically all sides. Um, and he, he reaches out and speaks to you. Please not cry. And you are now entirely under his control. <laughs> so I fear that plays out as you are now on Theodore's side. Um, and you do get saves to end that. It's not particularly specific about what triggers them. Why am I getting co vibes from? From the yeah, other I, I need to know what's about. If you want help with the rules, I have to know what effect this is. Uh, succeed on a DC 16 charisma saving throw with a free advantage, or be completely under the control of Theodore, regent of the Nameless King. Save ends. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Did the DM who the wrote this for me turn. maybe wasn't super specific? Oh. Probably save at the end of his turn. Like, he can repeat a saving throw at the end of his turn. Yeah, probably. That's how that's how those type of rules usually play out. Target one charmed creature. Target must succeed on a DC sixteen with a free advantage or be completely under the control. Dominate person here. Yeah. This is pretty close. Charming information. If you issue commands to the creature. Which it does its best to obey. Action, take control, and percent control. Target. You can take only the actions you choose. You can have me use a reaction, but you have to spend your reaction for your the turn to do it. And you just spent the reaction getting me. So you won't yeah. be able to react this turn. Okay. Even with my reactions, because I do have a pretty good reaction. I don't think you get an advantage on subsequent saving throws, though. Yes. Each time... Ah, uh, each time I take damage, I get a new saving throw it was with Dominate Person, which is a 5th level spell. So unless you nah, think this is an even more powerful effect than a 5th level spell... Nah. <laughs> then it would be... It would be, yeah. Hopefully I can do my turn. 
We'll so, go with um, dominate person. Give me an order telepathically, and I will follow it. Um, I mean, he he's asking for you to keep his word to protect him. Protect <laughs> and you. All you just right. see everyone up. attacking him. I'm going to set up a defensive perimeter around you. Uh, I'm going to keep interpose this guy right here, and I will stay right here. And, and I, I does yeah okay. I will look at my actions. Let me see if I can. Excuse me. Fulfilling your bodyguardly doodlies. I mean, to be fair, you also saw Sully. You actively saw Sully, like Sully or uh, Fleetwood hitting him. Oh yeah, he looks. He looks like you guys have been wailing on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and he, he's like on the ground, flinching away. Hold on, I'm looking this up. Do you? Or a creature can use a melee weapon attack. Use a weapon attack. Aha. Okay. Hello. Um, my good friend. My good friend Fleetwood Mac. Yeah. How's it going, bud? It's, it's okay. Nagamura looks at you, and he's like, "You can't. You are hurting. You're hurting him." You're going to kill him with that thing. Stop that. And I'm going to attack you. I'm going to use my attack to perf do a disarm action. Cool. Uh, you need to make either an athletics or acrobatics attack. Uh, check. Your choice. Athletics or acrobatics. Uh, do you opposed have to, to my attack you? roll. Do you have to hit me first to do that? or? Nope. I make the attack roll. I'm not doing damage to you. I'm disarming, trying to disarm you. You need to make. You need to choose which one you're opposing my attack roll with. Okay, acrobatics or athletics. Yes. Um, I got a plus seven to acrobatics, and I still have one luck point. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gonna do acrobatics. All right, one, two, three. Come on, Fleetwood. Sixteen. Wait, hold on. Gypsy. Let him do. Twenty six. Well, I, I I know, but really quick, Gypsy. And what? You're poisoned. You have disadvantage on attack rolls. Oh. True. Then let me roll again. Let me take the lower of these. Ignore the damage. <laughs> oh, oh, thank God. You're. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to take the crit damage. I think that I maxed a lot of damage wow. dice on. Wow. <laughs> Wow. You, you didn't you didn't want to take that. I think I think you're I'm happy sorry, with did, the fact that it's I, just a disarm attack that doesn't do damage. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry uh, to be kind of metagamey or rules lawyer. Hey, smart people. Uh, if you so, have something um, that Oh, sorry. I'm gonna make you uh, re-roll. If attacker wins the contest, the attack causes no damage or other ill effect, but the defender drops the item, so you drop the gun to the ground. I'm gonna spend my last luck point. Because uh, this doesn't interfere with advantage. I'm gonna make you roll another d20. Sure. Uh, spend it when you make an attack roll against you. And choose whether... Uh, it is an attack roll. Oh. Oh, Even if it's man. not an attack. Oh, I get to make it. Huh. When you spend a luck point when an attack roll is made against you, roll a d20 and choose whether the attack roll uses the attack roll, the attack <laughs> roll, or yours. All right, well then roll a d20. Triple disadvantage. <laughs> I'll take, you know what? Crap. I'll take it if you want to give it to me. Uh, <laughs> 17, 18, damn it. 20. <laughs> All right, um, fine. It drops to your I'd feet. I'd like to use my reaction to. No, I'm joking. <laughs> hey, smart people. All right. If, if you have an ability that recharges on a on a dice roll, do you do that? Can you do that at the end of the turn that you, you use the ability on, on, or? 
No, you do that on... You do that once you, uh, on your turn that rolled around. Okay, so not on the turn that I made the thing on. You can use a bonus yeah. action. Uh, on your next turn. She's talking okay. about, like, Dragon's Breath and stuff like that, where you re yeah. roll a d6 and, like, if it rolls, like, a 5 or 6. Since I didn't damage you, I'm assuming I just attacked your gun, so I'm gonna say you don't get poisoned. Yeah, but you have to touch you're him. lucky. Because which, if I had a second attack, I would now attack you. Which I, and because of my halfling, I am actually resistant to poisons. Oh. Alright, well, um, that's my turn. I am a, I am a gutter hoblet. Alright, Fleetwood. Thank you, Nakamura. Mm -hmm. Any just... legendary actions? Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for Cat to say anything. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see here. I got that. I got that. I got that, and I got that. Hmm. Oh, what I'm gonna up? use before oh, your so turn. This time. Mm. Yes, I will have. Do. Oh, actually, mm -hmm. I do get one free object interaction in a turn. God damn it! Can I <laughs> attempt to kick away the minigun? Kick it. <laughs> I kick the minigun. Where? <laughs> I thought you were going to pick it up. Well, I don't know if I even have the strength to. Um, I mean, I don't know. How, it's a heavy you minigun, stub your so toe. I don't think it would move too far. <laughs> But I'd say at oh, least roll. it moves to that square or that square. I'll tell you what, throw a strength uh, check, generally. Uh -huh. Say above the 10, you can chuck it as uh, to the distance you want. And then if it's too, if it's below, you just drop it because it's too heavy. At well, least kicking it, not throwing it. Well, you hurt your foot. God damn it! Let me do something cool! <laughs> I have a minus one to that, but you know what? Sometimes you die. Fair. To be fair, Storm, you might be able to re-summon it. I'm gonna be such so, a bitch. No. Where are you throwing the rock? Uh, the minigun, sorry. I I try to kick it uh, off off that way. You know, it's funny. You could technically say because it's not 20, you could throw it 20 feet and throw it off the mm. I don't give him fucking ideas. It can still be on the temple. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so where it's is a it? Heavy, like, it's a here big or something. Gun. So yeah, I will shove it. Basically, I perform a shove on it, and it gets shoved over there. All right, uh, legendary action. A little tentacle thing slithers and appears and wraps around it. <laughs> it has a mini gun. <laughs> she doesn't know how to use it, but it's on top of it now. Oh, that's great. Right. Now we. Now we have to worry about a tentacle TF2 heavy. <laughs> uh, okay, now it's your turn. <laughs> Alright, Fate well, 1, now it's your turn, yep. Cool. <sighs> I'm guessing... Guessing what? Kit made the interesting suggestion of whether or not the blood I imbibe could allow me to summon another gun, but I'm not even sure if that's the case. Oh, roll an arcana check. I'll let you know. You can always try. 21. Don't even think about it. What type of fighter were you going for? Let me let him answer, please. Oh, sorry. Right. Stay you, focused. You would have to roll another 1d4, and the, I, the weapon you get will be randomized to that 1d4 again. Okay. Uh, what action uh, is that? Oh, sorry. Sorry, it's a set of uh, this will be as a reaction or bonus action. I gotta still figure which out, whatever, which one this is gonna be. All right. I personally say bonus action. I'll say gonna bonus roll action. one d four. Fleetwood, you will see Fleetwood kind of do the face clap thing. Is like, hold on, hold on. I could also see it being an item interaction with object interaction with pulling it out of nowhere instead of a bag. Two. <laughs> Hey, it, the it mini gun. Like weapon to me. Everyone, pay oh. attention. The mini gun vanishes, and instead you get a hey. shotgun. Hey! 
You have a shotgun in your hand. Congrats. You know what I also got? One superiority die. <laughs> Shotguns. Shotgun damage is going to be 2d plus 12. 2d what plus 12? 2d plus whatever your um, dexterity is plus 12. You're not, you're not telling me what... 2d what? Is. 2d number. You you just say 2d. I'm like, what sided dice? <laughs> I'm guessing a 2d6. 2d0. Oh, wow. What? 2d12. 2d12 plus what? Plus your dex. Plus my dex, which is one. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to spend a superiority die, my one and only, to do a fainting <laughs> attack. Uh, You're so I will lucky gain you advantage. Have a I will gain advantage on this attack. So. And then it's a d20 to hit. So I didn't get my answer last time. Gypsy did bring it up. I am a fighter, so do I gain my superior, not my my proficiency towards these firearms? Uh, no. Oh. This is also yeah. kind of a. Uh, I'm sorry, but this is also kind of a rulesy question. But he is he is technically within five feet of. Theodore, which would impose his advantage with range attacks. Would that uh, still be a thing? Well, with a shotgun, no. It's a close range weapon, yeah, technically, true. too. <laughs> okay. Right. I, I just thought I would ask that. I, I'm not Kinda trying to be like sure rolling, point blank. rolling an attack with advantage. I'm just going to roll 2d20s. Hey, that looks like it'll hit. And I don't add proficiency, but I get to add my dex to hit. Uh, yes. So that'd be a 15? 15. Just no. a 15? Yeah. Unfortunately, no. Fuck! <laughs> uh, we need to, does, we need does to go that Fleetwood hit, into uh, Does that hit Nakamura? Theodore is like enormous. <laughs> he can aim he to the side. Oh, yeah. Well, it is the spreading weapon. That's why I'm asking. Oh, probably we right. lost dragon. We need to. We need I'm to put Fleetwood into gun safety training. Oh, oh. oh good. Yeah, to be fair, Nakamura. Oh yeah, Nakamura is like in 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 wreathed in tentacles, like within. Um, Theodore's space, so you could you could easily aim for a patch of Theodore that is not wrapped around Nakamura. Yeah. By the way, once you have your reaction back, if you want to use his reaction, he can make a melee attack against anyone that attacks an ally. Yeah, I know. Him. So he'll attack someone <laughs> that attacks you. Yeah. I'm, I'm uh, out of my tricks. Yeah, Nakamura, you do watch Fleetwood attempt to shoot this defenseless Theodore right in the face, but he manages yeah. to hit the deck at the last second. <laughs> Unacceptable. I know, right? I just disarmed you. Don't make me do worse. Is that and your that's turn? the end of Fleetwood's that, turn, that's so, so that's gonna be me again. Oh. Solius. Yeah. You're within sixty feet of me. Uh-huh. Uh well now you're within sixty feet of me, but over can you see my ruler? Yes. Cool. You're within sixty feet of me, but let's see here. 15 feet this way, and then the remainder amount of feet directly up in the air. <laughs> what? I don't know algebra or triangulation, just what, what, What's going on? I teleported you, like, Is I don't there know, a saving 50, throw? Feet, 50 feet in the air. Uh, there a is a saving throw, throw against uh, DC 13 intelligence. Unfortunately, you're teleported either way. 
No, I could possibly. Wait, what? What? The intelligence saving throw is to not be shook. What? <laughs> that makes us. That that makes no sense. You can't take reactions. <laughs> and you said I dropped 15 feet, correct? Uh, I think 30? I don't know. Oh, Trigonometry. <laughs> Just give me a flat, like, area that I fall. Yeah, there's fine. <laughs> How much do I fall by? 30 Just feet. Give me like a flat... 30 feet. Okay, so I take 3 to 6 damage. Sadly, that is not half because that's not because that's not how fucking rage works. No, it's bludgeoning damage. damage, so it is halved. No, uh, according to rules as written, you don't have falling damage if you're raging. Ah, uh, that's bullshit. The ground bludgeons you. <laughs> oh well. So, this is up to Tom. Do you want to say I happen or no? Uh, I'll say you can have that. There you go. Okay. Sully... Sully just shakes his head. And you are also shook. Gonna... Yeah, I know. I can't take reaction. Gonna walk over here. It's gonna... Be a bit reckless. Look at Nakamura, and he is going... To make an unarmed strike against him. As he just yells, STOP DEFENDING HIM! So, uh, Nakamura... Does a... 16 hit you? Gypsy. 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 Gypsy! Ah, uh, maybe you had to BRB. My fucking god. Oh, no. I know that punching him would make me get poison, but yep. So oh, if you hit, so... yeah. But Solis is just so fucking pissed off at this situation. He does not fucking care. <laughs> I, I love how you waded into Theodore's tentacles. You're technically within his occupied space. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's slimy in there. Nakamura was also like that. Well, yeah, but Theodore likes Nakamura. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, Gypsy. 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 Does a 16, does a 16, hit, 16 you? hit you? What I missed. Oh, uh, yeah, it does you. hit me. Okay, you're Sorry, gonna I didn't take... think anything was going to happen to me. Yeah, you're going you're gonna to take six bludgeoning damage as I just. Ow. Yell. Stop trying to defend him! And now you can Charisma roll save. your will save again. Charisma. But now I am poisoned. Unless I can it, it roll matter. a They're both plus zero. Check. Fair enough. That yeah. passes. Oh. <laughs> Sully has just slapped you to get you back to your fucking senses. <laughs> you I'm see, imagining I'm like... I'm like, don't hurt me! And I get slapped, and immediately that I see the tentacles again. Yeah, you and see. The defenseless Theo. You see Sully just like. And as you're looking, you see Sully as with like. His horn kind of cracked a bit because he fucking fell 15, 15 feet after being 30. teleported. 30 feet. What? What? He got is... slapped by a tentacle, almost poisoned, passed his advantage on. Same goes. And now you're trying to defend him. He's not fucking happy. Ow. Oh yeah. Roll the con save, or do you just automatically poisoned? Yep, uh, you're just poisoned I, if you touch save. another living being. So, uh, okay. 1d6 rounds. Six. <laughs> fucking course. <laughs> oh, let me also do. Th let me also do this. Uh, this is the second round for me. Uh, I'll do this for poison, and then... Yep, don't forget to take your stuff down. 
Yeah, I know. I take mine down. Nice. Uh, b- b- uh, and let me get something for rage really quick. Fuck uh, b- b- it, this will be rage. Uh, is that your turn? And Souls. now, just because I whipped it. Nope, I still have one more attack. This is yeah, a, at disadvantage. As I am going to try to fucking hit the other one. I'm not. Papa, are you? No, no, Papa. Oh, uh, God, natural one. Oh, no. oof. Yeah, no. Totally whiffs. Do you have to roll anything for severity? Um. I mean, not really. If you want me to have a, a consequence, then you get shoved five feet out of his tentacles because he's very cross at you. Look. Sure, fuck it. I'm pushed away five feet. Very. Stop interfering! Also, I'm not charmed anymore, I guess. You can join my friends then! Oh, you should loop this have- before it dies again. She did. Oh, you did? Uh, yeah, okay, cool. I think I just have it perma-looping now. Okay. Yeah. That will end, end my turn. Unless, uh, let me check really quick. I was here. Do, 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 do. Nope, I would still have one one more space, so I'm just going to move back. <laughs> <sighs> that will end my turn. Uh, Silver, you here? Yep, still here. I will really quickly do my thing, though. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's true. Um, uh, Nakamura. Yeah. No. Uh, DC thirteen dexterity saving throw. Thank God, you got it. <laughs> roll, roll a two on the die. <laughs> well, uh, the tentacles that were previously sort of like curled around you almost protectively suddenly cinch tight around you and you are now restrained. Same thing that Sully had. Impy style. (laughs) Squeaky toys noise. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Yep. So that is that and silver now. Alright, well I'm still gonna kind of focus on the economy. You're welcome, Tipsy. It is frightening. Hey, it's got an improvement. Uh, alright. The other character sheet. Uh, that hits. Let's go. Uh, ten piercing damage. Also, I poison the tentacles. Kill little bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, Theodore is immune to poisoning. Oh. Uh, all right, you cut this thing in half, Let's and go. it just starts bleeding black ichor. But the front half is still moving, just barely. Okay. I was waiting for you to say that. He cuts it in half, and now two <laughs> <appear. it> splits. <laughs> no, there's already two of them. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. <laughs> yep, that'll do it. Theo two, the revenge of three o. Uh, does it go to me or does it go back to you? Nope. It's yours. All right. So now that all my stuff is fixed, I should be able to swing at this thing with no problems. 21. Uh, yeah, that hits. Uh, you splatter half of its arms off and it screech. Well, it actually doesn't screech. They don't have mouths. They just sort of writhe and slap and flop around. <laughs> Is it, they gurgle. it screams, but it has no mouth. Yeah. So it's still up then? Yep. Alright, deck like. number two. Uh, yeah, that'll uh, probably splat it. <laughs> you well, just barely splat it! <laughs> it's dead now. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm gonna use my movement to get up here. And I guess I just used my unarmed strike on you. Since that's all I got left in the tank as far as attacks go. I think I fixed this one. It might be broken too. Let's see, uh, yeah, that should be right. 16. 
That misses. That that's missing. Definitely missing bonuses. No, yeah, it's supposed to have another plus three, or it, it's supposed to have a plus six to it instead of a yep. plus. So that'd be a nineteen. In which case, it would hit. <laughs> So uh, the strike should be a plus three or plus, plus six. No, it should be, it, it's plus a plus six, six. Plus because six, your proficiency bonus is three, and then your dex is three. There we go. Made adjustment, and that made roll that. the damage. Oh my oh. gosh, bot! What are you doing? Don't worry about it. Uh, four. It's not damage. a perfect gotcha. bot, but it works. Mm-hmm. Four for you. Alrighty. Hey, boss. Who goes next? Me goes next. Awesome. Uh, recharge at the end of turn, right? No, recharge happens now. Oh, okay. I will roll a d6. So one. roll that recharge die. Swear. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, don't get that. Do get that and one other thing. So, you shall I smack? I shall Oh, I don't know. Maybe smack. the person who, who who you have advantage on? Uh, who do I have advantage on? Me. Reckless attack. Oh, yeah. Also me, I'm restrained. Oh, I'm saving something for you. Um, he will actually Jeez. attack... <laughs> no, no, Gypsy's attack... Oh, Gypsy decides to attack both of us by having you smack into me. He will attack Fleetwood with the tentacle sweep, and then it will wrap around and smack Soliandris, who would get it at a disadvantage, but now gets it at normal because of the advantage. So a 12 and a 12. Uh, that misses. Does that miss you too, Zolly? Yes, I have an AC of 16. You jump over his giant sweeping tentacle like a skipping rope. (laughs) All right. Since that didn't work. Oh God! Work. It's, that, it's that one Mario Party mini game. Hmm. Hitting my fifteen area or that one. All right. Everybody. Of course. Within. Everybody dance now. <laughs> <laughs> Which one of you should I do? Yeah, I'll do that one. As your turn. Sometimes it's better <laughs> not to take an action. <laughs> yeah, you think. You can also heal me of all my debuffs. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, Nakamura. Um, I attempted to attack your allies. Oh, that's You can't right. attack with that disadvantage. You did. Guess what? I'm definitely going to take my chance here. Although I'm going to attack you with disadvantage. Well, actually, I'm going to attack you from my Echo Knight space. So this is a <laughs> weird thing. I'm not sure how this works. Let me see. Mm. Restrained. Also, Echo. can you take a reaction no. on somebody else's reaction? Yeah, you can, can't you? Reactions come back at the beginning of your turn, don't they? Yes, yeah. they come back at the beginning of your turn. And you can react a reaction because that's how uh, canceling spells works. Yes. Yeah, that's how counterspell works. Okay. You can counterspell counterspell too. So you're attacking um, me. Yeah, no, there's nothing that says I can't take reactions, so I can do this. No. Don't you fucking charm it again. Unless it charms the Echo Knight. It's no different than an uh almost need vision. Can't teleport out of grapple or restraint because I don't have fifteen feet of movement. I know that. I'm looking at a thread about Echo Knight I, how restraining I, I an Echo Knight because I'm, I'm if, curious yeah, if good. I have disadvantage. Chat. Uh, I swear if you're going to say that you're going to try to charm him again. Uh, I feel like that should be like if he succeeds on, on a save, he's resistant to it for like 24 hours. It takes me two turns to do the big one <laughs> and all of my reactions for all of those turns. <laughs> That's still a huge debuff to him. Yeah, 
if out of character it super annoys you, um, Gypsy, then I can. No, 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 it's okay. Address my threat. Okay. Um, uh, I, I like you're still that. getting your turns. <laughs> Again, I, I'm sorry if I'm being a bitch. Uh, okay, so I guess you're going to have to decide because there's no rule for this. Um, would I have disadvantage on an opportunity attack made against you um, when I am restrained if my Echo Knight, if I'm attacking from my Echo Knight space? Remember other stuff? Like, you can't, your Echo Knight can't get flanking if you don't have flanking. So yeah. I feel like probably if you don't ha if you have disadvantage your echo knight would too i feel like it's a matter of focus sure for the main body all right then if you're okay with that call here's an attack uh, i still interrupt you though and you have to make a dc 17 charisma saving throw do i make that with advantage can i no that's yeah, the second I was one gonna, I, I was gonna say could i as the reactions, see him possibly trying to get charm and just glare at him to hopefully give him advantage. I mean, his focus and is drawn to Theodore. Like again. Normally, these th kind of things, you'd be immune to them after saving against them. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I don't have anything about that. I, I know you don't. Well, I, why would you? It's homebrew. Yeah. Okay, I'm good. Uh, oh my fucking god. Yeah, you can take a different action. <laughs> no, it's a reaction. I get, I as oh, a reaction. Yeah. Right, so you are charmed for your next turn, but at the end of your next turn, you're going to stop being charmed, so he won't even be able to do the Dark Promises thing. <laughs> anyway. Uh, da, 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 da. Blah, blah, blah. Right, so the other part of my attack, you're charmed now. If I attack somebody who's charmed, they stop being charmed, right? No. No? Uh, yeah, that that's not how it works. Feels like that's how it works. Give me a second. Condition. Gypsy. Charm. Wait, what's going on? If I attacked you, would you immediately stop being charmed? Um, yes. Okay, I figured. So I won't do that it attack then. I'll do the different it attack. It doesn't say that. Not under so, the charmed effect, but under most charm effects, it says that. For instance, charm person. You did save yourself from something nasty. Uh, instead, you get something else nasty. But not everyone. In fact, not even that many people. Uh, I guess I can only attack Fleetwood and the monkey with this. So... 15 by 15 area. Um. Do, do, do. Big black ink. And. DC 13 dexterity to take half from Fleetwood and the monkey. I did the normal dex, that's... Oops, I meant to do a dex save. Ten. Alrighty. Fleetwood does not make it. The monkey maybe makes it? Uh, either way, the, uh, the ground in this huge patch just starts bubbling with black liquid that uh, bubbles and floats up and then sort of pops and starts hitting you guys if you don't dodge. And you'll take... Uh, why didn't you roll damage? It did. Oh, it did. Seven. Okay. It's at the top. Seven fire necrotic combo damage. How long does this field last? Oh, just for this turn. Okay. I mean, not for this turn. It's over as soon as it happens. It's not, like, still there. It's instantaneous. Okay, so it's an instantaneous. Yeah, that one. And that... Uh... Actually... 
Yeah, I'll keep rolling backwards a bit. I think you already took a attack of opportunity against me, so I don't think you can do it again. No, you cannot. Well, yeah, you technically so. canceled the attack of opportunity. Roll back a little bit further, and then end my turn. Oh, wait, I forgot the little screed you did. Which will again try to face hugger <laughs> Silver. Silver. Dragon. Oh, yes. Hey, what's up? It attempts uh, once again to face hugger you. <laughs> ah! Uh, DC 12 uh, strength. No, not strength. Uh, AC, right? I have to hit wait. you. Mm-hmm. Wait, hold on. Hit you. Hit you were here. Okay, so, Tom would get an attack of opportunity. Okay. Does a 12 hit? <laughs> If weather uh, oh, armor is generally plus two, then I don't yeah, remember no you armor. get advantage. I know I'm thinking like from off of a 14 armor class, that's so probably equal. So do I hit? Yes, me to beat it. Okay, uh, it successfully face huggers you. You are now restrained. This thing around you, uh, strength save, DC 12 at the end. Of their turn? Yeah, your turn. Gotcha. Cool. I'll take my attack of opportunity now, since that's all settled. Yep. 24. 14. No, 24, I because have you, have it. A, a, you have advantage on all attacks. Yep. Oh, that's do. right. But all attacks have advantage I against you. I about that. Uh, yep. CX. Hit. CX. Doing good. Alrighty. Uh, Nakamura. Yeah. Charmed again. Excellent. I end my turn. I take the dodge action. Oop. I moved the spare. Oh, God. That's not <laughs> what I wanted to do. Ow. I'm and... going to attempt to move away. You're restrained, remember. Oh, oh yeah. am you I are, restrained? You can make a strength saving throw. At yeah, the end of your me. turn. Well, can I attack the tentacles? Uh, you, they're technically considered... They, aren't they technically considered Theodore? Yeah, they are. Yeah. I don't know. Like, you look at them, and you're know. sort of shifting between them looking like tentacles and maybe looking like Theodore's hand or something. <laughs> Yeah, so I'll just kind of try to struggle through them at the end of my turn. So I'll, um, I'll take the dodge action. I'll end my turn, and I'll make my strength saving throw to break the tentacles. Nope. And then I will make a charisma throw with advantage. We are getting fucked in this battle. Nope. Whoa. Oh, that's a boss fight. Not really meant to be easy. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right. Uh, do you go against a uh, boss, or is it Fleetwood? Um. Nope. Oh, I... Poison takes down to one. Yes. Um. I will use my legendary action to make another squiggly wig. Uh, of course. Uh, over here. You guys, you guys gotta deal damage to the boss. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. The boss has just been fucking me over on turns. <laughs> That's true. What? I have been fucking with Slowly, especially. I'm sorry. Well, yeah, there's a big would. beefy guy. Of course, he's gonna go for you All first. Right. Uh, I will say, for your bonus action, do you want to keep the shotgun, or do you want to try for something else? Let's try for something else. 1d4. 4. Oh my god! (laughs) You get rocket launcher! (laughs) Oh my god, I have... Rocket launcher! But I also have allies that are literally within this thing. Just He's 30 feet the tall. Head. He's like 15 feet tall. Shoot the okay. 10. He's 30 feet tall. Oh, wow. All Rocket right. Launcher. Uh, Rocket launcher. Rocket launcher. 
Wait. His oh, base is wide, but his head is higher. Well, the rocket launcher is 4d20 uh, plus your dex. 4d20? I can flank. <laughs> I can flank. But I can fight! Dodge and weave. So Fleetwood, birthing this rocket launcher, he yeah. is going. He is going yeah. to. He is going to rocket I hop. Like that. I don't like that term. He is <laughs> going to. He is going to rocket hop over Theodore. And I can't and remember. Do we do a Voltage or plus two? Tom, Hi. I'm yep. pretty sure it's the plus two, isn't it? You don't do the. Yeah, it's the plus two to hit. Okay. Yep, makes sense. All right, so this will be a plus three to hit. Come on, Fleetwood. Come on, Fleetwood. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that is not I miss, enough. I miss advantage on sneak attack or on flanking. Sorry, everybody. I don't see the roll. It was a seven. Wow. Oof. Next turn. He goes wide of his eyeball. Uh, boss, do you go again? Rasolius? Just uh, do it. <laughs> yeah, okay. You know you want to. Um, yeah. Um, which one? Well... I already did that one. I don't think I can do them twice. You can do them twice. Really? I could do the same one like three times in a row? Yep. Okay. Uh, in that Sometimes case... some legendary actions will cost more than one legendary action point. No, I'm on one. I'm, I'm torn between being mean and just doing something. <laughs> you can be mean not if you to be want mean. to. I don't want to, you guys. Oh, what happened? Oh, the thing again. We should also consider timing, too, on top of just, you know, probably want to end this battle this session, uh, or try to. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry. Uh, in that case, uh, teleport again, um, 30 feet up. Uh, not, not mm -hmm. really. Like, mm -hmm. uh, over here. <laughs> Top being in okay. my square. Intelligence. Yep. Nope. Got to turn off the disadvantage, but... Uh, so here is where he's at? Uh, yeah, no longer within his... No, wait, that's adjacent. Oh, One more. <laughs> One more? Yeah. Eh. Okay, 3d6. 14. So 7. Yep. Which would be... 44. And now it's your turn. Yeah. I really don't have a reason to fucking use Reckless, because I'm double disadvantage. I don't think it doubles. No, it does, because I have disadvantage on all my attacks, and I'm poisoned, so double disadvantage. No, you just get- you just have disadvantage. It doesn't double Yeah, you, you can't- you can only have it, it you it can't double If you would up. ever have dis any amount of disadvantage and advantage, you just attack flatly. No matter yep. how many instances of disadvantage or advantage you have. Yeah, I thought that was how it worked. Okay, let's re- let's wreck us again, so I can roll normally. Hello, uh, uh, yep, 16. Just misses. <laughs> you gotta flank. I can't flank with anyone. You gotta succeed. <laughs> On a strength save. That'll hit. <laughs> Finally. Uh, 13. Oofa doofa. Okay. 
Quack. Uh, yeah, you dig your maul into the tentacles and they sort of crumple and, and a few of them uh, sort of turn into applesauce. <laughs> Black maul so into applesauce. Then, so you will then yell at uh, Stover's and, and to uh, the monkey guy, I don't remember his name. Uh, he'll gotcha. then yell out, Get in here and fight this guy! Please! Whatever. He's just yelling that out to you two. Alright, so there's a mix turn. Of, of annoyance. Oh. The enemy boss. Yep. Um. I think it's gonna be. Uh, what's the save for that one? Didn't you already use three legendary actions? Did I? Yeah, you used one during Nakamura's, you used one during. End of Nakamura's mm. turn, end of Fleet your turn. Fleet in mine. Well, I didn't use no, one mind. at the end of my turn. Yeah. Uh, what kind you of trick is that? Fleetwood's turn. Dexterity. Um, sure, I'll use it on silver. Dexterity, saving throw, DC. Da, da, da. 13. I think DCs are the same around your abilities. Mm. Yep, you save. Hey, you're just trying to wrestle this thing off of your face, but it is latched on real tight, and you just sort of trip and stumble out of the way of another giant tentacle that tries to grab you out of the ground. Carry on. Silver. Yes. Uh, Dragon. Dragon. You're muted. Oh, that was her. <laughs> um, I was saying, what do I gotta do to get this thing off of me? Uh, strength saving throw at the end of your turn. So you just sort of have it on there until you're done doing stuff. And I can't do anything yeah, bro, that's until I get it off me? Uh, no, you can do whatever you- I mean, you're restrained, so I think you're bad at things. You but... can't- you can't move. Can I stab it? Yeah, you can stab it. <laughs> yeah, I want to stab it. You have disadvantage. I already stabbed it once. So 17. Yeah, that'll hit. And do you stab it, the the remaining half of it, you stab it through the eye, and the eye goes dark Wait. and it goes limp. I was gonna ask a stupid question. It Go confirmed. It. Because, Nak because Nakamura's echo is there, does that mean he gets sneak attack? <laughs> that, that would be insane really overkill. On me. Yeah, you know? Free health left. <laughs> An ally is within Almost five there. feet of it, though. Nah, don't worry about it. <laughs> I was making a joke. <laughs> Personally, it would make sense. <laughs> uh, is that the um, only attack you can do? Or are you yeah, that's anywhere? all I can do, and unless the 9 will get it off me, I can't do anything else. No, you're done. I mean, it's done. It's dead, so you can move or do whatever else you oh, want heck to yeah. do. Um, Wait, a 9 was... A 9 is what he needed? But he killed it. Oh, no, he killed it. He didn't even need to make a strength save. Oh. I thought there were tentacles wrapped around him, though. Yeah, so I'll be, uh, before. flanking, so. No, the tentacles missed. Like. You made the dexterity save. Heck yeah. Mm. I'll take an attack of opportunity as I move towards here. So advantage. Uh, yep. Advantage, tentacle, and it doesn't really have, I guess that would be its normal attack. Hmm? 15. 15 against me? Yeah, that would hit. No, not you. Oh, never mind. 8 oh, plus 4 damage. poison. 12. Now right, let's get in those attacks with advantage. Six. Mm, oh, yes, yep, that hits. Yeah, about that. Wait, no, wait, do you still have your reaction? Or have you used your reaction this turn? Oh, you're not You're not that charmed. You're just a little charmed. Oh, I'm just a little charmed? I failed my charisma, second charisma strike. Uh, I haven't gotten the chance to. I have to wait until my whole next turn to be able to do that. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Oh, all right, I'll 
proceed for a second attack. You're not happy about 18. it, though. Uh, 19 also hits. Or another 6, and then an arm strike. Uh, why is it? Why do I keep closing my character sheet? Or playing it down, my god. Oh no! <laughs> Double natural. Oh, that'll that be a no. And it slaps you. <laughs> You're beating the shit out of one of its tentacles for the last second, it just flaps on top of you really hard. Back to balls. Back to me. D6 for recharge. Nope. And my turn. Uh, try to make this quick. Open, open, open. Uh, right, the squiggly thing. Uh, this squiggly thing will once again chase its intended target. And attempt to latch onto you. That's a... um, do I see these as Theo? No. Uh, these I'm are just freaky little things. One of my allies. Didn't you use? Didn't you already use your reaction, though? No, I, I can still so. use my reaction. You use your reaction to. Uh, oh, it fucking misses real bad. To anyway. What? You use your reaction because Theo attacked uh, uh, Fleetwood at first. And when did I get to make an attack? He canceled your reaction, was the thing. So, you, so I didn't you get to take reaction, reaction is what you're saying. Yeah, I interrupted. I basically cancel whatever he was trying when to do. When you counter spell, counter so spell, he didn't get it. still uses the other player's reaction. It interrupts it before it happens, so... Uh, okay. I th I th the attack should have still gone off. Anyway, because go nothing for in it. her reaction says the attack stops happening. So it okay. dives for the monkey right. and totally misses. <laughs> so which one is it? Because only one of those interpretations. You have your reaction. Said. Okay. Sorry. This is a disadvantage because I'm poisoned. Not for long. Yeah, that's 15 still... to hit this thing. That still hits. <clears throat> okay, well, it will take. A total of 11 points of damage. Yeah, you make you make some tasty calamari, and it is looking pathetic. <laughs> now we just need the rice. <laughs> mm. Sushi. Right, no, in this case would be sashimi. Right, sashimi. and Theodore will tentacle slam. Um. Let's see. I don't know. The monkey and silver. Uh, silver. Fully and the monkey with disadvantage. So a 22 and a 13. You shouldn't your attack on me be at uh, advantage? Don't you mean the other way around? Oh yeah, it's even Stevens, so 21. No, if, if she attacks Silver, that means the attack on you would be normal, because the advantage and advantage. Yeah, so normal attack on you, it's a 21 to hit. Oh. Huh. And it's hit. Uh, Silver, I assume that hits you as well. Oh yeah. So that's a 14 plus 10, and a 13 plus 7. Remember to roll. Uh, you can throw it both of you. Um. Big old slam. Hold up. Uh, I'm going to use my reaction. Use an uncanny dodge to make that a little easier. <laughs> Smart. You also roll a constitution saving throw. Uh, silver. Uh, okay. Uh, what, what saving throw is this? Con plus two. Yeah, con. Uh, let me just do it this way. This is easier. 
I believe monks get oh, no. I get or... constitution saving throws. <laughs> That's another Did natural you? one for me. <laughs> oh, oh, never mind. Good thing the monkey has nine lives or what, four <laughs> li five lives or whatever. Oh, that's the um, cat. Oh, there's a cat, Nakamura. Let's see. Um, Fleetwood and... Uh, I was talking about how he became immortal four different ways in the limit. Oh. Yes. Yeah, I think just Fleetwood, because Nakamura's shadow doesn't work and he doesn't want to attack his own little guy. What do I do? Uh, also, it's an object and not a person, so you can't target it or affect it with You have spell. advantage on me. DC 13. Okay. Uh, that uh, probably doesn't hit. Dexterity? Uh, Alright, it's not a true roll, it's just an area effect. Yes, DC 13 dexterity. Jesus Christ. Alright, you will take the big black ink, so that's six fire slash necrotic. Still trying to not attack certain people. And that, I believe, will be my turn. Okay. And right. because my last there's turn a charmed, charmed character, huh? I think I can do the Dark Whispers thing, or Dark Promises thing. To it's you bludgeoning again. reactions are the, only at the end of another creature's turn. That one's a reaction. Uh -huh. Oh, a reaction at the start of someone's turn if they're yeah. charmed. Yeah. Okay. So you have advantage on DC 16. Which is Can lower. I get a double right. advantage from, from Sully's glare? No, what I need is a bonus to charisma. Can I get a plus five from his glare? Would it be fair to lower the DC because you've done it already? Hey, you got advantage. It yeah, passes. I did do advantage. So. 18. You're still charmed until the end of your turn, but you are not tempted by his dark promises. Okay, I resist. I, I I look at Solius and I'm like, I, I'm just asking everyone to disperse. There's nothing to see here. <laughs> Listen, Theo, you're being unreasonable too. Everyone needs to stop fighting. <laughs> <laughs> You then see. I'm going to kill you. I'm just going to walk him. away. It's fine. Don't worry about it. No, I was just trying to say. You see. You, can, you may make smoke. a reaction. Oh, you used your reaction. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, so he just reaction. walks away and he's like, I'm just gonna deal with this guy over here so that we can all stop fighting. Yeah, <laughs> and I'll make an attack action with flanking against uh, this thing. Be like, the wise man once said, forget about it. 26 dead. Oh yeah, it's, it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking dead, dude. You make, you make the sashimi. All right, there you go. All right, all right. Now can we all just calm down? No. I say, and I move my echo over here, and I'm like, everyone, just look at me over here. And the echo is waving. We just need to put our weapons away. <laughs> Stop fighting. Everything's fine oh now. We probably dealt with the source of those tentacles. Is <laughs> that the end of your turn? Yeah, that's the end of my turn. And at the end of your turn, all illusions drop away and you realize the full gravity of the situation. <laughs> Wait a second. And also the point. Wait a second. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, in that case, gonna be doing. Oh, oh, oh. I did it again. Oops. I don't know why it's doing that again. 
It doesn't usually do that. I like it. It adds some spice. Uh... <laughs> it's like juggling. So, so, so... Summon the Nameless Friendsling! Damn it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I've got a... I, I took a turn. I've got a new reaction. And I'm gonna use it finally. No, it doesn't do anything. It just appears. <laughs> uh, w did it? But did it appear here? Uh, no, and then I move just, there, or I, did it appear? I dressed. There? It can't even move. I just drastically pulled it out, and I was like, "Okay, where okay, do I okay, want okay, it?" Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And that is the legendary action. Go, does Fleetwood. Does Fleetwood gain flanking from the echo? No. No. Okay. Oh, hoy vey. Still have a rocket launcher. I, I know, flanking. but I've been rolling shit. True strike. I no, believe it. Actually, don't <laughs> true strike. It's not worth it. Oh, fully. Wait, fully don't, you have, don't you have an item that can? Don't you have an item that can give Might. you true strike as like reaction? I already used it. Oops. Oh. I already got that marked down. All right, we're gonna make another attack. Come on, buddy. You got this. Thirteen. Uh. 14 to hit. You gotta beat a 17. Oh my god! Man, I wish I had... There's a weapon that has... A, instead of trying to use this thing with a big damage die that you only hit on a 17, you should be using a weapon you have proficiency with. Yeah, I should. You can. <laughs> the temptation of the rocket launcher, though. Again, we need to put Fleetwood into a gun safety class, then he'll have proficiency <laughs> in all firearms. Can you give that to someone that does have proficiency with firearms? Like me? <laughs> That's true, oh god. Like, can you slide that to me? Pass turn. Oh god. No, you, as an item interaction, can you slide you that can to me? Teach him, you, you can actually teach somebody uh, proficiency. Wait. Wait. Can you throw him Facts. a gun? I throw it to Vex. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Sure. Vex knows Maybe how to use guns. To. Oh, yeah. <sighs> oh, Jesus. Dragon. Oh, wait, no. Take fast. <laughs> Dragon! Dragon. Sure. There we go. You have a rocket launcher. Yeah, oh, no. I point blank. <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. Okay. I can, probably I can aim it up at a 30 foot creature, so. Yeah, the splash damage is not a... I don't know how much yeah. ammo it has. So, I legendary have... action. I would assume being a rocket launcher, it probably just is a single shot. I've already fired it, like, twice. Nah, it's a magic rocket launcher. So, okay, fair you, know, you know what's actually kind of funny? You know what's actually kind of funny? Go. Uh, there, go. there we go. I, I, I wanted to say something really quick. You know what's actually funny, Gypsy? No, I don't want because there because there's multiple allies within five feet. You get sneak attack with the yeah, rocket you get that monster. extra sneak attack damage, baby. <laughs> well, unfortunately, seeing that Silver now has a rocket launcher pointed at him, uh, Theodore is going to take some drastic action. Uh oh. Uh, unfortunately, Theodore doesn't know that much about guns, and neither do I. So he's just going to try to teleport you. 60 feet directly away uh, into the trees. <laughs> Perfect. I like think a rocket jungle. launcher would have a good amount of range. So you're like I'd, I'd over here like now. <laughs> 20 feet. What the hell is thumping around? Let's just see if I can find a fight. I'll be right there. Can you see where I'm pointing? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You're over here now. Cool. Oh, okay, so really quick. Really quick. And you do need to roll an intelligence saving throw to not be shooketh. Cool. Fuck. So. Uh, you can't take reactions. Alright. I'm yes, so I'm... confused. So, so... Okay. Hmm. So, really quick. I mean, I, fa I found a homebrew for a rocket launcher stat. 
it says the range should be 80 to 240 feet. Are you going to allow that? Uh, it, it has already, a short range of... He's already huh? looking at the distance. He can shoot it from there. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> well, will you allow it to be like an 80 short range and a 240 long range? He, he just said he, said could he shoot can it. shoot it from there. Right. Okay, just asking. Yeah. Uh, so, my move. So, that's your turn. Uh, also, so wait, did you teleport him 60 anything. feet into the air or. I, I teleported him just to the guy. Air? That's what I did. Nope. Just did he I, land on the floor or was he in the air? For maximum distance, I did not teleport him upward at all. I only teleported him away. He's in the tree. Uh, okay. It's only just move. That's he just like. Uh, I hate this height. I hate this so much. Can just sidestep over here. It's actually I'm gonna wreck this again. Sure your heart bleeds for me. Actually, that, that's blinking. I believe. <laughs> oh, my heart's not gonna bleed, but you are. It's the opposite way for flanking. A flank with me, that is. Uh, it's a okay. Cookie, cookie shape. There you go. Okay. Cookie shit. Anyway. Uh, Get him! So, so he's gonna reckless attack. That means he's got... The poison is... Is it with advantage? No, he got the poison. I punched you, remember? Bad. <laughs> the flat roll. Do it. Yep, Hit it me. is with a plus two. One and one. One. Eighteen. Also hits. Fifteen. Thirteen. What's that all together? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Oofa doofa. All right, you slice through the swaths of tentacles and chop, chop, chop. Or they mark, fall writhing to the ground. The okay, you crush <laughs> swaths of tentacles, and they squirt black ink across the top of the temple. No, you said I slice, so I just yell at hey, Nakamura, my, my hammer can slice things! <laughs> Your training is finally paying off. Amazing. Okay. Is that your turn? That is the art of Bushida. Yep. Alright, Silver, you have a rocket launcher. <laughs> nope, hang on, wait. Oh, well, the boss is going. Yep. Uh. Theodore. Will. Summon another he one. He has advantage on. He has oh advantage on me. So, who is he slamming? Summon. He summoned. He went first. He's going for numbers. Okay. Hit me with your best shot. Dragon. I believe it's you're not. Now it's on you. Steady aim. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I'm Steady aim. This is an impenetrable wall, isn't it? Uh, you can aim upward. Yeah, we're, we're on, on top of a temple. Uh, okay. I was just thinking, oh no, I have to run all the way to the, that right side. <laughs> but, uh, be a lot. That's alright. We're gonna... Yep, shoot. Because if I can hit from there, then I can get advantage on the hit. Mm -hmm. Do trees obstruct your view at all? Oh my god, just let him have fun. <laughs> <You teleported. laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Cat, no. cat, to be fair, you did say you teleported him to the top of the trees. Into. No, I'm just into the trees, so. Actually. Alrighty. Let's see if this murders me instantly. No, I gotta wait. Because I'm gonna hold off for one turn, because if I what? move, I can't. I, if I move, I can't use steady aim to get advantage. That's and if, fair. I don't, if I don't have a clear line of sight, or if I lose my advantage at all being in a thicket, you know, I'd rather just wait. Just hold on for Are a more sure turn. Are you sure you don't want to just try to fire? All right, it. stay awake. <laughs> I would say take just take a pop head, shot man. at least. Take the take the gamble. Yeah, just just try one. I mean, if I don't incur any uh, disadvantages here, mm. Mm. straight roll, it's I normal. guess. 
You, you don't say that. I say, I say there's no penalty. <laughs> Roll with advantage. Uh, no. No. I'm trying for your life what, No. No. Wait, yes, proficiency? Because gun? It's a firearm. Yeah. It's a firearm, so yeah. Alright, d20 plus 3. Oh, fuck me. That's two. Always roll with advantage. Uh, 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 well, if I got a second gun, blood is cursed. Oh, oh these rocket launchers. <laughs> Just like oh. It's just like the 4th of July. Of I just like the idea that it's just like there's just shells <laughs> bursting in air. Very <laughs> dramatic. <laughs> oh, hold on for another turn. It's like a Michael... Yeah. It's like a Michael Monkey, Bay go. movie right now. Or actually, I'll spend the rest of my turn doing whatever I need to do for reloading the next time. Yeah. As a bonus action. With what? I don't know. It's magic. You pull it out your ass. <laughs> if I have to. <laughs> It's an auto reloading. Pull it out of Fleetwood's ass. <laughs> yeah, that hits. Yes, we have more damage. Attack number two. Yeah. That's a twenty-six. Oh my god. That's another damage. Oh yeah. What are you gonna do? Can't, couldn't you have just used your cunning action to dash? Um. Or something. Mm -hmm. Not if I use steady aim. Oh, that's yeah. right. You can't move it all that turn. Unarmed strike. Me too. Uh, yep. Another fall. Alrighty. That's all I got. Alrighty. And that's all she wrote. The end of yours. P6 recharge. Uh. All right, teleport. I mean, not teleport. Theodore's turn. It's not his name. Theodore will. I mean, he's been doing it so much to us. Yeah. <laughs> Slam his tentacles at the Monkey King with advantage, and uh, Nakamura now with disadvantage because Nakamura is not cooperating. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What did you do to me? Uh, advantage for How monkey, disadvantage for Nakamura. How dare you? It's a hit. Uh, 21 for you. Does an 18 hit you, Nakamura? 18 does hit. Then you're gonna be taking all this. Oh, that wasn't very much for you. Take the top one, right? Monkey is top, Nakamura is bottom. I am down. Oof. Uh oh. Monkey down. I'm down. Well, things are about to get even more dire because, again, you fucker, <laughs> you're not cooperating, so he's no longer holding back. DC 14 con save? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. Do your con save, monkey. Oh, you're fast. Uh, so you take half of the poison damage. I take so no poison damage. Minus three. Oh, no poison damage for. So I just take Oh, nine. yeah, just you. Did uh, the monkey pass the con? Oh, it's. Uh, okay. Two. Eh. Yeah, oh, that's the wrong thing. Whoops. 14, that's, 16 that's, passes. That's, yeah, 16 right. passes, nope. though. I'm doing that. No, nope, you do failed. pass. Oh, okay. If you say so. I mean, you might regret that, but, um. Ha, da, 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 da. Every creature within 15 feet of me. Intelligence saving throw. Oh, oh. My intelligence. You're fighting a nerd Sulu. Twenty one. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> 20. Six. Uh yeah, you're fine, Fleetwood. Oh. Uh I think you automatically you fail, monkey man. It, you're down. Uh, yeah, you don't have to worry about it. Oh, no, that's the opposite. I have to worry about it the most, most likely. Yeah, you just automatically take the damage. Uh, so that'll be... Actually, he wouldn't take the damage. If he takes the damage, he suffers two, uh... If yeah. he's unconscious, he he suffers two death penalties, 36 failures. 36 plus 3. Uh, everyone who failed 
for a DC 14 is now deafened. And nope, a save will end that. And two no. <laughs> I knew it. Fucking hell. 2d6. Whatever this is, plus three. Nine, ten, so five, six, eight damage for everybody. What type of damage? Uh, psychic. Oh, so I don't resist this. This is the only type of damage I don't Yep. Does Fleetwood take half, or...? Uh, I think you don't take anything, you just don't hear the scream. Okay. You're too smart. <laughs> How long am I deafened for? Uh, until you save, which I guess at the end of your turn. Nope. I'm gonna say it con. That kind of deafened is probably a con save, not an intelligence. Hey, that's my two attacks, and oh, I forgot to roll for my thing! Eh, it didn't work anyway. Uh, yep, yeah, so that's the end of my turn. Oh no, wait, I forgot for the squigglies! Squigglies, go face hugger! Uh, one attempts to face hug Nakamura, the other one attempts to. Oh, then the monkey's down. The other attempts to face hug Fleetwood. <laughs> it's just one failure, by the way. Not two. Uh. So, roll to hit plus two wow. for both. I just teams. realized. I just realized. Uh, those in both look like Wait, they missed. So who's attacking who? One is attacking you, the other one scurried past over the monkey to attack Fleetwood. Yeah, okay, so as this one enters, this one moved up to me, stepped up to me, right? No. Uh, no, this no? one was like... It was already here? Here somewhere, and then it went like that. Oh, and this one was already here? Yeah. Okay. Then they sure. both missed terribly. <laughs> yeah. Also, hey guys, I just realized Solius is in a blind and deaf rage. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. terrifying. He's going full. That's okay, all you have to killer. do is swing Maze in front of you. <laughs> That's true. Right now, Kamara. Yeah, yep. hi. Monkey King down! <laughs> still commencing. I mean, I don't I, have any healing on. And he has two sit and he has two death failures. One more and he dies. He only has one, doesn't he? No, he took a damage. That's only one. Yeah, That's it wasn't an attack, so it's not critical, so he doesn't take two. You only lose oh, okay. two on a critical hit. Yeah, it's just and now damage. all melee attacks against you are criticals. Yeah. Okay. But... So I congrats, you have more life than you thought. You could always roll a natural one and then die. True. You could, or you could roll a natural 20 and get up. No, natural true. 20 would mean two successes. I thought I would, yeah. Natural 20, you always automatically stabilize with one hit point. Yep. No. Uh, yep. I've always heard critical roll. successes, two roll. successes. Uh, not gonna roll. Yeah. Okay, whatever. If you roll a 20 on the d20, you gain one hit point. There you go, bud. Okay. Alright, yeah, these things anyway. I'm totally whiffed. Up, I'm looking up options right now. Hmm. I'm trying to see if I can use the help a action to help with a death saving throw. I believe so. I think you have to use medicine though or something. No, it's not an... <sighs> ability check. Oh yeah, that's Hold true. On. Yeah, make a, a special saving throw unlike other ones. It's not tied to any ability score. Yeah, it's not an ability saving throw, so I can't help him. All right, then. Um, I'm going if he had to lucky, maneuver. that what she could use that. Can I just step stand on top of him right now? Yeah. To protect him? Since he's not currently alive, he's on the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then I, I will just so. do that. Uh I'm attack going anybody? To... Yeah. Yeah. 
actually, wait, hold on. I'm here, right? Yes. Yeah. I could swap. Uh, and if with you move there, instead. you'd be flanking with me. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wait, that I'm... wouldn't matter. Why wouldn't it matter? Aren't you still charmed? Nope. Nope. No, I'm completely oh, okay. free. Um, I'm just deciding which of you two to flank with. I'll flank with you. Um. So, wait, wait, wait. Uh, Gypsy, I know this is kind of metagamey. But remember, her reaction is back and she can just try to charm you again. Theodore Angie. <laughs> I mean, what what do you want me to do? I mean, you could just attack one of these two. Yep, I guess you're right. Oh, uh, but okay then. Um, Tempted to give you an insight check. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't trying to be like super metagamey. You're fine. No, the no. boss needs to go down. I'm attacking the boss. Oh. Nat 20. Holy shit. <laughs> no. And yes, the sneak on the damage. Up. Let's go. That's crazy. That's, uh, yeah. <laughs> I will choose, hold on, because I can re-roll that one. Hold on, I also need to roll my sneak attack damage twice. Because that gets added to the roll, and I can roll... Oh god, that's sad. On a critical hit, I can roll one additional damage, die. I believe that's right there. Yeah, and then piercer. Uh, let me see. Once per turn, when you hit a creature, you can reroll one of the attack's damage dice. So I'm going to reroll the one d8 that is a one. So. Oof. And not an additional six. So it's 13 plus, 13 plus 7 plus 2. Nine, 9 plus 13 is 22, 23, 24, 25 damage. <coughs> Yeah, three health left. <laughs> uh, how do you want to do this, Nakamura? Oh, this is fitting. Wow. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I draw. I sheathe my blade, and for a m moment, for a single moment, Theo thinks, "Ah." The shadows have grasped him once again. And then <laughs> he's on the other <laughs> side, sheathing his blade again. That was legit cool. <laughs> Slices yeah, him clean fuck. horizontally like a samurai movie. Yeah, he just, you know, he seems fine for a moment, but then <laughs> a gap, like a three feet wide gap just separates in the center of him and and this towering entity of tentacles collapses in on itself hey, roaring Theo. Theo one more thing consider this my resignation Anakamura <sighs> It matters not to all to that end. He is fucking dead. <laughs> and music. And music. Where's the button? Oh god. Ah, uh, it stopped. Yeah, I just had to go through the taps. And fucking grats, guys. Oh yeah, um, so... As the tentacles collapse in on themselves, the one at the base open up to try to catch and reform the upper half, but they just can't maintain stability. The little light 
uh, amidst the tentacles that it is his eye flickers and blinks before going dark and suddenly like a black hole opened up in the ground the tentacles are suddenly drawn violently down to a single point whipping around you all have to sort of step back and shield your eyes as black blood splatters across the top of the temple staining it and when you can look again there is no trace of theodore there is nothing left except the one singular point where all the tentacles were drawn in where his little black book is laying And then look at, I'll look at uh, Fleetwood and just be like, we're burning that. Does anyone have healing? Does anyone have something? Get a Uh, medic over here. The the black book appeared and and Sully looks at the book and then looks at you knowing that you want to grab it and then thinking about the shit that happened. He just goes, we're burning it. blind and deafened right now. Are you sure? I'm not blind. Oh, okay. Oh, you're just, I, I was just make, you said a blind rage. I was just making a joke. <laughs> uh, also, the little things uh, writhe and dissolve. Oh, actually, they yeah, get drawn into the book too. The fucking, he's gonna grab the fucking book. Make it intelligent save like, throw. No, not really. <laughs> he's grabbing the fucking book and he's just being like, "We are burning this." I have one spell slot left that I could do burning hands with. <laughs> oh. You, wait, no, no, no. All of your spell though. slots are for all of your classes with spell slots. You don't no, have no, no. Spell so slot. I have something else that I can do. I'm gonna get out my fucking tinder box and I'm. Somebody want to heal the I'm monkey first? I don't have any healing. Why? Okay, what spells do you have prepared right now? Uh, magic missile and shield. What about your cleric spells? Tom, question. I don't have any of those prepped. What Tom, do you mean? Hey, question? Tom. Okay, Tom, too many people talking to each Can other. I bring in my character with healing, I guess? <laughs> I hold oh. I had something that can maybe help. Yes. I want to ask Tom. Yeah, okay. Hello? Well Hi back? Tom. Uh, I don't know what just happened there. Oh. You guys won. <laughs> well, I know that, but Okay. Because we need to like help fucking... Storm because Storm doesn't understand his character right now. So we okay. need to help him understand. Well, I'm waiting his for everyone to get done with their stuff because there's like five different people talking at once. Tom. So, let's see. Yeah. I have the fucking revival demon. Can I use it on him? He's not dead yet. Only... So why the hell would you use it? It, it worked on death saving throw. It's, it's not bound to dead. you. I don't think that's how it, it works. It's bound to you technically. That's for you. And I would say also don't worry about it. <laughs> oh wait, I have a fucking healing potion. <laughs> Wait, when did you buy a healing potion? I have no fucking clue, but apparently I, I have. I told one. you guys, you guys bought some in the swamp market. I mean, the sewer market. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and we each have one. That's right. God damn it! I told you guys. <laughs> but I'm gonna fucking put my healing potion down him. Okay, now can we uh, can we be quiet for a moment, please? Yeah. Mm. All right. Storm. When characters multiclass in 5th edition, they have one single spell slot table that progresses. Uh Uh-huh. When you prepare, there is no class in 5th edition that expends spells. Every single class in the game, when they prepare spells, they may use any of their spell slots to cast any of their prepared spells any number of times. Yes. So, you're a cleric, first level cleric. Yes. You mandatory have to have spells prepared. Which I have magic missile shield from my wizarding stuff. But those though don't combine together with the cleric. Yes, they do. I would have There's no separation. They do combine. Okay. You just have So what are your cleric spells that you picked? Um, I did not put them onto my spell sheet <laughs> because that takes a long. What type of cleric time. are you? Um, just the cleric, or actually, I'm oh, yeah, a twilight cleric. Your... Oh, so twilight cleric, you would always have. Uh, give me a second. Uh, uh you would always have sleep. 
Yeah, you would always have those prepared, mm -hmm. and those don't count against your prepared spells. Yes. But yes, I'm going to just take my healing potion and just shove it down him. Uh, I was going to say, you didn't have to worry about this. You don't have to waste your potions, guys. Well, I already did it. Well, we're worried about him. He helped us. He bravely helped us fight. We're worried about Aww. him. Well, I already had a character set up for this, luckily. Well, I already did it. Yeah. Oh, well, that's not if you some... want to waste items, yeah. that's on you. Just let the axe mark you know it. Status effect. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Silver's still all the way over there, just like, you guys are okay? <laughs> he heals five HP. <laughs> you, can can back. you can choose any cleric spells at all. Da, 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 da. Okay. So feel free to, to go ahead and pick two of those at a later date if you want. But he has five, he regains five hit points. And your your one wizard level and your one cleric level combine to make you a second level caster. Yes. So you have I know that. Yeah. Know that you have three spell slots. Three daily spell slots. Mm-hmm. You could use that to cast shield or sleep or magic missile or you know, healing word or cure wounds or you know, whatever you prepare. Yes. Sully is. You can get rid of those status effects, by the way. Mm hmm. You feel much less terrible. And I'll just say, for the sake of brevity, Silver just manages to eventually make his way back up just so we can <laughs> keep our party together. Yeah. I like that he's I'm just slowly <laughs> taking aim and then he watches it dissolve again and he's like, oh, come on. Fuck. I'm also, go I'm also I'm going here. I'm going to a. F I'm setting up like a fucking fire. I'm using my tinderbox to start that fire, and I'm throwing this fucking book in into the fire. It does not burn. Well, <laughs> <laughs> then grabs the fucking book and starts to tear it. It does not tear. Oh, it's laminated. <laughs> it's laminated. Oh, it's fantastic. Uh. He then grabs the book, and he's gonna fucking shot put it away. I'm gonna okay, make you it. throw it into the jungle. I'm gonna make an arcana check. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, that's 20. a good one. Oh, that's a good throw. That's a bad arcana check. Well, that's not bad. It's middling. Wait, hold on. I don't know. Oh. You just what, really what was the check for? Anyone could find it. Eh. We don't have to worry about it anymore. Oh, what was the check God. for? What was the check for? <sighs> I was attempting to check if the book was cursed or magic or anything. Uh, I, mean, I, mean, I was using my, you know, my my creature sense. I was using my arcane sense to uh, try to sense the book. Can I describe stuff about it? Sure, that's Tom? on you. Yeah. Yep. Um, that's your thing, so... Well, yeah, it did not normal. burn, and it seems like destroying it is not working very well, so it's probably magical. Yeah, and um, I don't know if an 11 is high enough to activate the creature sense power. Tom would have to tell me. Okay. Uh, Eleven's like usually like middling, so I don't know. It 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 has the exact yes. same flavor as Theodore, just regular Theodore. Mm, spicy, spicy <laughs> great. Like to be fair, <laughs> giant <laughs> tentacle Theodore yeah. and also less giant tentacle Theodore had a slightly different flavor, but it seems no, no, it no, seems no. less spicy. I think you're I think you're confusing flavors, Gypsy. It's not spicy, they were salty. <laughs> That's true. Salty grape flavor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you describe that nothing about him? Uh, our inactive player? Um, I mean, if you wait like... 10, 15 minutes or something and aren't necessarily paying the closest attention to the snake, the book shows up on him again. 
just on his chest. He's still unconscious. Wait, on me? <laughs> no, the snake. <laughs> what? The snake, what? Cheeks. The other yeah, member I... of our party. What? That doesn't make sense. What? what? Doesn't have to. What, do what does it make sense? You look away for a minute. Also, he he's still unconscious from when he got hit by the thing from the book at the very beginning of the fight. You don't know what's up with that. But if you stop Fuck looking at him roar. for like a minute, if you look back, then the book is just like sitting on him or next to him. Oh god, it's a fu it's a fucking millennium ring. <laughs> sure. It's like it's like Kratos trying to get rid of the blades of chaos. It's like, oh, yeah. There it is. There they are again. General Arcana as well. Creature sense thing. See how badly I fucked this up. Ten. Not so bad. I guess they're not about the same. Yeah, I mean, now that you're looking at the snake guy, there seems to be traces of some Theo stuff on him, too. Well, Pokes, I think I. It takes a day, we gotta put him out of his misery. All tough to I was thinking it was just, just like, listen, I don't Immediate. Know. I don't know a lot about books, but I don't like them. <laughs> oh, God. I don't no, like books at the best of times, him and him this is him. not a good book. <laughs> no more. Let me do it. He's my snake friend. <laughs> He's my snake friend. You're just looking for you're just you're looking for an excuse to kill him. Stop that. <laughs> I'm going to confiscate this book. I have my echo. Not me. Pick up the book. No problem. Anything happens, okay. Nope. It <laughs> It, for now, it's going to carry it 30 feet away from me. Yeah. All right. So we need to find somewhere we can stash this thing. Oh, maybe we can put it where that research station was on that island. But what if it'll just reappear on us again? Shit. Hold on. Hold on. Can I draw something? You, I mean, you've already tried some things, but yeah, go ahead. He goes some over. Things. He he goes to the echo and holds out his hand for the book. And he he carefully hands you the book. Remember, don't read. I mean, well, never mind. <laughs> the book. I can't read. Not a problem. He tosses the book again. He tosses. He does what? It. God damn. <laughs> Okay, you eat the book. <laughs> I look Sully towards is... Saxis after I do that. Mr. Batterhorn, what exactly did you think that was gonna accomplish? He, 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 he goes over, he then goes over to you, and as you're saying that, he puts his his finger on your mouth and goes, shh. Have, have you He's heard just the, the definition of insanity? <laughs> Everyone make a stealth check. Is Maybe everybody the book won't find us? Is anybody looking at Zaxus? I am. Okay, nothing happens. <laughs> as long as we all look at each other for the rest of our <laughs> lives. Okay. Just for this. Okay. Oh. I think I came up. What's the plan? No, hold on, hold on. Let me finish. That's okay. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. Totally. Can, can I just finish? Can I just finish? Yeah. Yeah. I think you come up with a plan. Okay. We all need to look at him. He turns around to tell them nobody can stop watching him. Turns around back at Zaxxas. Not for one second. Was anybody else looking at him? I wasn't. I was looking at him. He was speaking to me. And if nobody was looking at the snake, then the book's on him again. <laughs> yeah, so I turn around and go, <laughs> we can't take our, our eyes off him for one. God damn it! I'll say, for the sake of brevity, these two will end up back at the base, uh, Hencha and Selena, so they're gone. Boop. <laughs> you did the um, Metal Gear thing where you attached a balloon to them. Bolt <laughs> <laughs> a balloon, go! <laughs> I think that's next episode where we wait two weeks if I 
to fight an enemy and they die of old age. Oh. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that was tough. That was a shit yeah. show I'm sorry if of I was... single digits. Uh-huh. <laughs> so single many digit failed rolls. saving throws. I've so never seen I'm so sorry. many failed saving throws. I I'm sorry if I was being annoying and or a bitch during that game. It's okay, it was an intense fight. Yeah. I hope. Whatever. It was. Cannot believe God, so many I, failed I saving throws. Whole, yeah, that's was, that's oh, like, what that's three, what's drained one, me right now. It wasn't the five. legendary actions, it was the consistent single digits that were popping up. The dice weren't even trying. The dice were just the, the, the dice were just like whatever mechanics the boss has, they all happen. I'm so sorry. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay if it was IRL, you know, you just burn those dice. Yeah, that's right. There are a lot of I, dice need to be in dice I table right now. Ask, <laughs> I know this feel like I just got blue balled by a twenty sided <laughs> dice several times. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Well, I, you don't have to I noticed this a I noticed this a game called the Giants. Giants. Rocket how much health miss, did miss, miss, miss. How much health did uh did Theodore tap? Uh the second phase? Um, yeah. Whoops, wrong button. Or I'm sorry, oh, my mistake. How much HP did Tentador have? Uh Four, Theodore, seven, Regent eight. of the Nameless King, cues you. And he had uh hundred and forty six. Okay. Yep. That's about right. Tom? Did he have damage reduction or? Nope. The uh, okay. earlier ones had damage reduction though. Yeah, yeah, he did have damage reduction. He had he had mind controlling half of us. <laughs> Tom, I could have done that to more of you, but I didn't. Like he mind controlled you. Oh, yeah. that's right. But he did the, he did it so many times that he could have done it to half the party. Uh, I was I was I, I was try I. Was trying to pull my punches a little bit. I could have teleported people like sixty feet up in the air, but that seemed mean. Yeah, yeah. The strong act, the strong thing would have been, based on how that character was designed, probably would have been to charm everyone and then just start teleporting them sixty feet off of, or like sixty feet diagonally up, so that they would fall off of the roof, the yeah, height. So of the, yeah. So something else no. I would say. Plus, you guys are all melee. I could just make you really far away. <laughs> Except so, for one. So something really yeah, quick. just take you out one at a time. <laughs> exactly. So something really quick. I would recommend, like, if Tom ever uses, like, this ability again, the teleport save, the saving throw for teleport ability should just be, like, they save and they are not teleported. True. Okay. Um, there are some things where it's like um, the ability already exists on other monsters. You should look at how it's implemented. Especially for stuff like we were we weren't sure how the mind control worked or when it ended. To be this fair, I did not make that, any I mean, of this. this. These are all notes for the person that designed the boss for you and yeah. not you. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, you did great. You had a boss and you ran it as best as you could. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. These are all the other effects that his recharge thing oh. could do. Burning rage. Yeah, that's the one the monkey got. Hey, Tom. And of course, I yeah. was getting all the crappy stuff. How long no, there's only it? one good one. How long does the uh, does the uh, the blood power up last? Yeah, is that permanent? Uh, well, Forever. No. no. Okay. That's for twenty four hours. Oh wow. Okay. Oh, I'll say, um, hang on a second. Hang on. You one still one have second. a few vials left, if I'm not mistaken, right? Um, still I think. Still have two left, I think. Uh, there I was think three of each. Fleetwood only had one of each. Either way, um, I just like. The okay, the only thing left was the ones. book, a vial, uh, two vials of mystery blood. Uh, you already took his sword cane. Um, there's. Uh, you took the cape as well. Yeah. Yeah, his cape, his sword cane, took it away. Two vials of blood are sitting next to the book, I guess. And which uh, 
Um, Don't you go looting. I don't know, like a dagger and some nice clothes and oh, those papers that he uses to get into the city <laughs> and oh, a yeah. signet ring. He takes the paper. Oh, and his watch. You may now refer to me as Theodore. I snatched them out of his hand like, you give those here. You can't even it, use them. You can't even read them. His watch has 364 credits on it. Ask me anything about Theodore, and I, and I can tell see, you anything. Let's say for the sake of that, give it to the snake, because he didn't have one at all. Fair oh, enough. True. The snake gets my watch. I'll not Fair delete enough. my character sheet, so that can be a thing next time. Well, he does have something. He has a book. What? True. No, he doesn't. We all have a watch, and he doesn't, so he gets Theodore's watch. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, never mind. I mean, technically, I don't either. Yeah, I was going to say, Sully also doesn't technically. <laughs> yeah, that's but again, yours doesn't watch fit either. Yeah, mine doesn't fit on you. <laughs> uh, <sighs> by the way, Storm, Sully would be asking for that cape because that would actually fucking help him at the tank. Fleetwood. Oh, and that spell book that he never got to finish reading if Fleetwood wants that. It's a non, non-cursed related book. You're the librarian, Mr. Yeah, you Mr. recognize it as the book that he bought in the sewers. <laughs> Mundane. Fleetwood just kind of quietly looks up at you, Sully. I heard you once before. I heard you twice before. And he pats you on the pats you on the knee and just walks off. <laughs> I'm confused. He looks. He looks beat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think we are. And Fleetwood also doesn't have very high AC. I can't believe he was a a dark cultist this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I knew something had influence on him, but I hoped it wasn't willing. The book is back. <laughs> it doesn't just appear on the Echo Knights person. No, it keeps consistently appearing on the snake. Which again had a trace of Theodore magic on the snake. Hmm. I'll still say we that we put him out of his misery. And the what? snake is still unconscious. Like he wasn't that hurt before. I mean, we know why he's unconscious. Out you... of games. So. I have to go. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but there's also an in-game reason that he's unconscious. Pick up the. Pick up the book again. Separate it from him again. This time he's the echo's just gonna keep its eyes on the book the whole time. One minute. I'm gonna like pick up the snake. Is it I'm gonna check his vitals and see if everything's okay. He appears to be REM sleeping. Unrousably. Hey. Hey. I think mm, you're gonna need something a little stronger than that. I hope he's not in that dream world. Uh, he won't help. be having a good time there, I think. Uh, not what we can do. Just gotta wait. And make sure it doesn't reappear on this person. I have a feeling separation is key. Although it's just a hunch. And I will... Mr. M Mr. Batterhorn. I, I, I don't have the strength. Could you carry this unconscious snake man? Okay, but if he starts wrapping around me, I'm going to whack him. That's fine. Fair that enough. means he can move on his own. Just picks him up. 
Cretanian, you survived your fall? It wasn't much of a fall, more just uh, moving a long distance. <sighs> Looks like that rocket launcher, Mr. Max Summon, hasn't disappeared yet. Has it? Yeah, it's still there in your hands. It's still there. We'll see how long it stays around. All right. I think we should all go inside and turn in for the night. Uh, it is morning. <laughs> yes. Turn in turn for in. the morning. <laughs> we haven't had You woke up to this yet. shit. <laughs> Where'd our new monkey friend go? I saw him and the cat earlier. I gave him a potion. So he's, he's just frogs. Dom? Dom? He said that oh. they returned to the base. Syndicate they X just, base. Yeah. Oh. They just left. Well. And you guys are headed for the desert? We are headed for a long rest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> we're then be, we're headed for the desert. We're going to be hanging out at this temple for just uh, about, a, about a day. About nine hours, Can we I'd level say. up? <laughs> I mean, I don't know how much EXP the Theodore was worth. Well, I fought, fought the servant of an elder god. Yeah, I, feel, I have no say in this. I, I, I would say that he was worth a lot of DXP, experience. That's the best I can do. <laughs> Take it Tom, or leave it. <laughs> it's up to you, Tom. Uh, do we I'm level up? No. Yeah. Dan. Rip. I'm trying to think of something good for Fleetwood to say. Oh. Well, you got a day's Just... worth of time to say, then. So, when are we signing off on the uh, recording? Say. Depends on if you want to finish up any scenes or investigate the book or the snake or. Yeah, I was gonna mm, say. Good. Um, I'm going. I, mean, I, I, I feel like we should. I feel like we should investigate the snake when Saxus is here. When, uh, you can still make our contracts about him or something. Okay. Ma Fleetwood has at least some modicum of magical oh. training more than the rest of us. So I'm inclined to entrust safekeeping of the cursed book to him. Actually, it, if Fleet. Instead of me rolling Arcana, I kind of want to drink that. If Fleetwood would would check him to see like what's wrong with him, I'll give him the help action, even though it's not Arcana. All right. Yeah. Are you bringing him on over to Fleetwood? Or are you just dragging him yeah, on I, over? I, yeah, I, I'm bringing him over to you. You can carry him uh, with one hand. Let's be real. Fleetwood. Yeah. Kind of lets out a defeated sigh, and he's going to give him a once-over. You get advantage. 22. 22. Ooh. It's definitely good. Um, assuming there's some eyeballage involved in here, or sensing, or whatever it's called. Um, you definitely get a sense that there is currently some sort of link between the snake and the book right now. Uh, specifically some sort of link between the book and the snake's brain. And, um, you might need to do something to or with the book in order to get it out <laughs> of his brain. Hmm. Let's see. And, uh, so you're just, you're just examining the snake, not the book. Okay. 
Um, yeah, you think that he's probably yeah with a twenty-two. You think he's probably not gonna wake up unless you figure this out. <laughs> Fleetwood. Fleet was gonna take a look through the book real quick. Oh, you look in the book? I don't know. Like F like you read it? <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. We're rolling single digits tonight. Yeah, we'll go ahead. <laughs> well now wait until you have your luck back. <laughs> that is true. It does regenerate on a short rest, is it? Long rest. When you finish a long rest, goddamn. Why don't we take a nap? Why don't we get I some mean, sleep? You can skip to the end. <laughs> I thought we were doing a long rest with the thing. Yeah, I mean, you can do a long rest and then continue the scene. Okay. I'll take a long rest. Do we succeed? Action yeah, I was going to say. He's interrupted uh, by another party member betraying us and having a boss fight. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, so, I hate to, to tell you Nakamura, but uh, prepare to die. Hold on. Hold on. I'm it's always the person you least respect. Take your time. If I'm going to do this, cleric, uh, first love. Uh, Question, can you give, can you do the help action on the freaking, on a saving throw? Oh my god, I uh, forgot to turn on my electric katana. Oh. <laughs> oh well. well, to be fair, you didn't attack him very much. That's true. <laughs> And you did majorly overkill the one time you did. <laughs> That's true. Fleetwood, uh, consulting the uh, the good Earth Mommy Bible of uh, the Three Ring Binder, <laughs> will cast Protection from Good and Evil. Gonna need the description on that one. <laughs> Until the spell ends, one willing creature you touch, he'll touch himself. Woo! Is protected against a certain type of creature, oh aberrations, celestials, elementals, fey, fiends, undead. Protection grants several benefits. Creatures with those types uh, have disadvantage on attack rolls against the target. Can't uh, target also can't be charmed, frightened, or possessed by them. If the target is already charmed, frightened, or possessed by such creature. The target has advantage on any new saving throws against the relevant effect. Hmm. Alrighty. Hmm. Okay. Concentration um, up to ten minutes. Is it all of those types of creatures? Do you have to pick one? Select one. Let's see. Here. Oh. Yeah, it just says, until the spell ends, one willing creature is protected against certain types of creatures. It doesn't say select one. Yeah, it's all of them. It's basically it's basically a category that's like it protects you from everything that's not of this world. It's Could potentially be evil. <laughs> yes. Alrighty, okay. So no charm, disadvantage on attacking you and can't be charmed, frightened, or possessed. Mm. Oh, that would have been nice. <laughs> Yeah, well, it would have been. Why not cast it on him then? We uh listen. It, hindsight's it twenty twenty. Okay. <laughs> I woke you guys up. You hadn't had coffee yet. <laughs> well, I mean, why not do it now? You can remove oh, the fucking God. possession. Oh, you mean cast? We did. Didn't he cast it on himself? Like I just said, he cast it on himself. He was going to read on through the book, see if there was. Any particular thing. I still have three spell slots. Or two more yeah, spell so slots if I need to cast, cast it on Saxus later. Yeah. Okay. But All right, so Keeks isn't here right now. I kind of want to do that if he's here. Yeah. As the play. Because so that's you're... sort of a player thing. Yeah. Okay. So you read the book. Yeah. Gonna need a charisma saving throw from you. 
Uh, charisma saving throw. Du, 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 du. That. Charisma. Single digit, of course. But Oof. I'm going to spend a luck point. Good. Reroll. 14. Better. All right. Uh, as you begin to read, uh, you see Theodore's notes. Just his very neat, elegant handwriting. Um, notes about magical theory, mostly. Um, a few snarky comments about how obnoxious he finds the whole Syndicate, Syndicate X thing. Um, but as you read on, um, the lines begin to slant and angle into each other in a confusing sort of geometry that as your eyes follow it, they just sort of fall deeper and deeper into it and you find yourself unable to look away and just staring into the book. Make a wisdom saving throw for me. Am I charmed by it? No. Hmm? Wisdom saving throw. Single digit. Reroll. Single digit, of course. Alright. And nope. make an intelligent saving throw for me. Alright. Single digit. Nope. Okay, 15. Not bad. Did you uh, get an advantage on all this stuff? No. No, it's just if it already... No. If, if if he's... if they're all, it, The idea is if he'd, like, cast it on me in the battle, I would have immediately gotten another... Yeah. I wouldn't have gotten another save, and all of my saving throws would be made with advantage, but... Ah. It's all like right. it on one that's already affecting you. As your eyes are drawn into the book, and you find yourself unable to look away, um, sort of the darkness of the page begins to spread outward, and outward, and outward, until it spreads beyond the page, and your vision goes entirely black. And... Everything is very quiet. Everyone outside of Fleetwood just sees him staring at the book. A little, a little I bit gormless looking. The book. He, his eyes do don't, not don't change their focus whatsoever. His pupils are huge, um, and he may begin to drool. Anyway, that's what you guys see. Back to Fleetwood. Um, you are in utter blackness, and. There seems to be nothing but darkness of the ink of the page around you. But after a moment, you begin to hear the subtle in and out whoosh of ocean waves. Like a giant breathing creature, almost. And as your eyes adjust to the darkness, you can just barely make out the outline of shape and just the faintest trace of light in these veins that seem to run, run along every surface around you. And you begin to be able to make out the shape of a room that you are now in. And it's a small, comfortable, um, very nicely furnished room uh, with like a sitting chair and a desk and you can just sort of make out that all four walls around you are bookshelves. And there's a window in one of the bookshelves that appears to look out into more blackness. But um, brighter than the veins of light that you see is a subtle yellow glow. And as, as you focus on you, you see it come up and then turn towards you. And you see two bright yellow lights that as you sort of adjust to their glow, you can then see that it is Theodore sitting before you with a book in his lap in this comfortable chair. Oh, Fleetwood. I didn't expect you to be the first. No, you were one of the contenders. <sighs> I'm gonna miss you, Theo. I know. It is a shame that we couldn't continue your education a little bit further. You were promising. 
And I did appreciate your um, general appreciation for books. Appreciation, <sighs> mandatory way to pay my bills, whatever you like to call it. Come now, it can't have been as superficial as that. Mm. I'd be surprised. Don't tell me that you would not sell at least some non-vital organ for a look. And he stands and starts stroking his fingers along the spines of the books that are lining every wall for some rare edition that no one has laid their hands on in aeons. And he offers the book out to you. Ghetto, I'm not sure if you've ever run a bookstore in a ghetto before, but you're lucky for anyone coming in looking for super fudge. <laughs> Hell, Captain Underpants, a game manual. Don't mean for selling, Fleetwood. You are clearly a man of curiosity. <laughs> Spread yourself among so many different interests. Mm. Maybe I'm there just... Is... Maybe hmm? I'm just a big dreamer. <laughs> well, there's always a book. The sort of dreams that you dream in it somewhere. Anyway, how can I help you? Well, seems like you're doing something, or at least your pages are doing something too, or Sneaky Boy up there. I know we just oh, met him, Lord. he's a little weird, but um, could you not? I almost forgotten about him. Right, yes. <sighs> well, it was more of a, I'm sure you understand, a bit of a contingency. Not really, no. Oh, come now. I'm sure you've tried to destroy the book at least a thousand ways by now. I Long haven't done it. Been. I actually haven't done anything just yet. Oh, I'm kind of surprised that. to even see you here. Well, I suppose that's understandable. How long has it been? Uh, looks at his... He goes to look at his wristwatch, which he doesn't have anymore, because he gave that away. Uh, about a day. Really? Interesting. Oh, wonderful. Well, uh, yes, that I would be, of course, happy to free his mind, what little of it there is. But there is one small issue. There always is. Well, yes, that, that is how it works now, isn't it? I'm sure that even if you have been so kind as to not destroy my tether, then Tully, at least, surely. Oh, yeah, naturally, naturally. Naturally. Well, I'd rather you didn't attempt such things, obviously. I think you see where this is going. Uh, are you bound to it like an earthbound spirit and therefore or are you uh, i don't know i'm just grasping i'm just grasping at straws right now theo it's like you're asking me to think after after watching you go all blarg 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 yes i am <laughs> terribly <laughs> sorry about that uh. i was overwhelmed with his majesty and I suppose you probably don't understand, but I'm no, no, excited. I've, I've, I know what an abusive relationship is. <laughs> I. I've I read Fifty Shades. Understand why you would say such a thing as that. <laughs> <laughs> I've read. I, I, I as do. the sort of <laughs> for the Mister. <laughs> we all have our preferences, Fleetwood. <laughs> Oh my. Indeed. We all have our preferences, but I I do well, apologize sir. about attacking you. I was I was very angry about what that woman had done to me. Yeah, I saw. I but saw I that. could help you. I could gladly help you. 
So, question: How much debt is Saxus in this campaign? Right. Debt. To making a joke. Yeah. I. You were at least somewhat reluctant to kill me, were you not? And you can see that I am now in my right mind, even if I have taken a considerably different form. Um. I'm not even sure what your right mind is, kiddo. I mean... Got to know you for a couple of months. Turns out you worshipped, uh... I don't even know what his name was. Um... He did not have one. That's oh, that makes point. it even easier. Fred. <laughs> yeah, certainly, Fred. I... My right mind is a curious one. That is all there is to it. I'm not inherently malicious. I just wanted this. And he gestures outward, and your eyes are sort of automatically drawn to where his hands gesture to, just by the grandness of it. And you look upwards, and you see that the four walls of bookcases go up into what appears to be an infinite labyrinth of bookcases. <laughs> and I have achieved it. I have been here Jesus. for centuries now. You've said it's only been a day, but... <laughs> I'm not concerned any longer with hurting any of you, I assure you. I back on my time with you with some fondness in some of you. With you, certainly, and Nakamura and Silver was interesting, if a bit reticent. Also the fucking three decimal system on this place. <laughs> you have no idea. Hmm. <sighs> Yeah. A show of good faith. I can release you from here. Which is charity in its own right. You are rather taken currently. The outside. I can release you, and I can release the... Oh, I don't remember his name, it's been so long. And in return, I only ask that you... Not lock me away or continue to attempt to burn me, rip me to pieces. How about I stick you somewhere up on the shelf? I suppose that would be amenable. Can I have your word then? Hmm. That's as good a word as I can give. Take that then. And he extends his hand out towards you. He'll take it. Uh, you complete one firm shake of his oddly cold hand and suddenly gasp and come back to yourself, your eyes shrinking back down as you tear your eyes away from the book which drew you in so deeply. Sully is also trying to rip the book away from you. It's been like half an hour. I can such a small man be so strong! Sully. <laughs> huh? Take a breath. Oh. All right. I feel like I had to extend. I had to use one of my rages. <laughs> Stop. Fleetwood is. Are just, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. So is uh, Theo apparently. Better than fine. What? Just, Where is he? He just kind of closes the cover of the book and rests his hand on top of it. Oh, right. right, like he lives on in our memory through the notes in his book. 
He's Why right. is someone measuring me? He's right where he wants to be. Why is someone... Why was Nakamura measuring me? Wasn't measuring you him. You didn't get to know that. I see the fucking ruler, and I see your color, Nakamura. Alright. Well... Did it get ya? You're sure you're not... You know... Speaking from personal experience. Well, let's just say if Fred shows back up, I'm going to have a few words with him. <laughs> All right. Let's have some coffee. Snake Boy should be fine, too. He, Theo said he released him. He wouldn't have wanted to put up with him anyway. Said he was going to use him as a contingency, but I don't think that would have worked very well. No. Oh. No. Oh, no. It's not my fault. My aim was shit. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. You're a book. <laughs> <laughs> the lids just flap on the book. He's like, no. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> the spine of the book just starts opening and closing its mouth. Fleetwood is going to look on down at the sword cane that he confiscated. And the cloak. And the cloak. <laughs> got all this shit. I'm going to turn this into something. Just you watch. I'm not interested in losing more friends on this adventure. My mundane death or craziness? Uh, oh, pardon me. Sorry, word burp. <laughs> I have the vials of blood, I think. Oh, uh, yeah. There was one magnet one and one gun one. Gun gun and magnet. Yep. From Theodore's um, remains. Unfortunately, <laughs> you guys didn't stop me from performing the summoning. My god. <laughs> oh. Okay. Also, uh... So, does anything happen to Mr. Mac? Mac? He looks a little sullen right now. A uh, cat? Oh, right. Um... He let you out early. Uh, you cast that spell, and you remember fairly clearly everything that happened. Okay. A little fuzzy, but you get the gist of what happened. What? What? Wasn't it the failure is what gets you the? Oh, you mean all the single digits? Yeah. All the single uh, digits. All the single digits. All the single digits on my saves. On my saving throws. I. I. I it's, it's just that I I, I, I. 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 When we discussed it, I thought it was yeah, pass, yeah. fail pass was the good. Pass, fail, pass. Right, yeah, because that one, yeah, okay. Um, the Fleetwood. Mm -hmm. Plus one. Two. Yeah. Intelligence, wisdom, and charisma. Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. Yep. Uh, so those we go. designed. We designed how this would work. 14, 14, 14. All right. Congrats. You are feeling rather enlightened from your little chat. <laughs> I will chalk it down to the experiences I have acquired on this journey so far. The hardships. <laughs> the horrors you have witnessed. The horrors I have witnessed at the behest of Fred. Yeah, essentially some eldritch whisper knowledge, some secret universe knowledge kind of latched into your brain and stuck around. Which is going to work uh, because what oh. Fleetwood's rogue he's going to go into is the phantom one that basically allows him to contact spirits. Cool. Also, how much longer are we going to go for this session? Oh, we're going to call you here. Okay. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think we're pretty good. That's a pretty good stopping point. Next time uh, we start to we eat at breakfast, sullen breakfast. We have coffee, and I think we're ready to go to the desert. Three, yeah. two, one. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Oh, oh, no. oh shit! Oh, my <laughs> <laughs> there we go.
they're sad, it's what? over. 